Hello everyone! Am I muted today? Or am I not muted today? <laughs> What's well, the right wait question for to feedback. ask when we start something? Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Code with the Italians. Today is a special day because it's our 40th regular stream plus all the extras we've done. So I think we're like 45 at this point or something like that. And tomorrow it's going to be six months that we have been streaming which is also an uh, interesting uh, anniversary for us, our, our first half year together with all of you. And uh, I, I'm very glad that I don't have to redo that now. <laughs> I may be a troll, but I'm a friendly troll. Oh, where, where are you live, Sebastiano? Where are you actually live? this time? I was probably live. Like I was checking the levels on my microphone because I... <laughs> okay. I, I learned my lesson. Always double check and I triple check today, so um yeah. <laughs> sorry just catching up with the chat watch out there's a troll on the left <laughs> on the right <laughs> um Not yes bad. as you can see uh there's fancy t-shirts well right here uh and also yeah. here i am technically touching it yeah don't don't get too close otherwise um <laughs> it's sexual harassment um <laughs> no <laughs> Jesus, we are like two minutes in. Wow. Okay. This is going to we be interesting. If on, on, on uh, YouTube, we could start saying, oh, no, we're getting demonetized, aren't we? <laughs> no, I mean, that's... Don't that's, you have to earn that's... money before you get demonetized? That's a fair point. That's also why I don't give a <laughs> shit. I mean, on Twitch, there's people in hot tubs. So I think the bar is pretty high for demonetization. Uh, yeah. On YouTube, there it's yeah, a bit yeah. harder, but I guess you can you can peddle conspiracy theories and still get monetized. So there's that, I guess. Um, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know. I think we're safe for for now. Please, <laughs> please hot tub channels. Please, uh, I, <laughs> Hugo, I'm sorry. That's not the kind of content I consume. <laughs> so I don't have any recommendations <laughs> for you. Maybe maybe someone else here. I don't know. Um, no, what's for that? But yeah, uh, jokes aside, so um, before we start, thank you for the cheers. Thank you, thank you. Um, greetings from chat. <laughs> so you found them, you found chat in Berlin. Um, I just have a couple of announcements uh, to do. The first one is once again, uh, if you happen to be at Dragon London, I will be there. And I will have hey. the special edition holographic Lucky Buster. <coughs> stickers. Sorry, was it? Lucky Buster. <coughs> uh, Sorry. It's life choices. You either have kids or you go to Dragon Berlin, as far as I see it. Wow. That, that's... <laughs> wow. Wow. That's, that's slow. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but also, wow. Uh, fancy stickers. Uh, Today's giveaway, I'm totally improvising this, Ivan doesn't know this, but today's stickers, oh, thank you for the sub, Mark I. Allison, I don't know who you are, but I like you already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, today's stickers that we give away to celebrate, they're going to be the fancy ones. Uh, and uh, Oh, yes, nice. Because we can. Uh, it's going to take some more time because we need to uh, arrange the logistics for that, but you're going to get the fancy stickers. And... Uh, from today onwards, so after today, from when we're back uh, in 10 days, uh, if you're a subscriber and you win a stickers giveaway, you're also going to get one of these, or maybe two of these, depending on how generous we're feeling that day. On top of the normal uh, couple of normal stickers, you also get a fancy one as a small token of thank you for being a subscriber. So... I think even I was not I was not aware of this. So bravo what? Sebastiano. This is this is what happened when you are like alone and you can be creative <laughs> without me and Mark just messing with your with your creativity. This is what, so uh, what happens was... when I uh, when I finish the slides <laughs> and I have time to think about other stuff. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, technically Fair enough. not done, so, but uh, technically done. Depends how you look at so, it. So so uh, in, in the end, did you did you go with uh, Keynote for the yes. slides or with Maya 3D? No, I think it, it's still Keynote. <laughs> but I, like every talk I do, I feel like I'm pushing a bit further through what Apple intended okay. Keynote to be used for. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, um, fair enough. 
I think I, I said the magic word, which is subscription. That that is a good segue for you, maybe. Yes, <clears throat> beautiful people. Uh, as you say, uh, as you can see, uh, Mark and uh, Aurelio, and actually myself, uh, we just renewed our um, subscription, and um, we are. Uh, I think yes, both uh, all three of us we are subscribing. Uh, for free using Amazon Prime. Yes. Um, we can do this because if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you can you basically also have an Amazon gaming account. And being all the same company, Amazon and Twitch, you can connect your Amazon uh, gaming account to your Twitch account. And at that point, you have a subscription for free to any possible uh, channel. Um, if you if you subscribe. Um, we get a f probably a couple of dollars or one point five dollars or something, and we are investing every single penny uh, in stickers. Um, so, if you want stickers and just give away, uh, just participate to the giveaways. And if you can subscribe, please support the channel. Uh, we are also wearing the channel T-shirts. Thank you, Mark, for the support. Look at that! That's beautiful. Um, and you can buy the um, you can buy the T-shirts on our store. I'm just gonna drop uh, links in the chat um, right right now. For maybe Sebastian can help. Anyway, we we are gonna give you any possible link in the chat. Um, Sorry, thank I was you, too, thank you, thank too you. Too busy for the support. gifting uh, a sub to someone. Uh, I just felt like it. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. Good, 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 good. Nice. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, anything else? Oh, thank you, Mark. Or should we thank start? you very much. Uh, looks like we have done a hype train, whatever the fuck that is. But there's big red <laughs> letters saying know. that. And a lot of Bob Rosses. <laughs> <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. Whatever. I mean, we... Yeah, I'm too old for Twitch. This is the this is it. Um, but let me let me get a couple of links to before we we can start. So we we go full circle and um, so if you want to buy the t-shirts, <laughs> you can go here. There are also mugs, anything. Uh, there is also there are also stickers if you want this version of the sticker. So this version of the sticker is slightly different than this one. Um, so this is the bare minimum angry pizza logo. This is the angry coding pizza. <laughs> so <laughs> this is more what happened. What happened? That's, uh, happens in real if life. If I wear a slice of pizza, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah, this is basically the swearing angry at Gradle kind of uh, <laughs> pizza slice. Uh, so uh, you you can find this on the on the store. Thank you again. So um, now that we have the um, uh, subscription stuff and uh, what's gonna happen in London stays in London stuff. Um, what are we gonna do today? As I as I think, we are going to do testing. Yes. As I think, we are going to do a kind of testing that it's a bit unusual, at least for me. Yep. Well, so, I think uh, to, to sum it up, I know that um, Ivan loves testing. Seb loves UI. And I love trolling Seb and <laughs> Ivan. And I think we're going to check all of those boxes today. Wow. Woo! Wow. That's... <laughs> Oh, that's that's okay. I mean, is it a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know if I I, I I'm not even mad. You know, like <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, screenshot testing. Yes. Hey. With a hello, welcome. Um, screenshot testing. Screenshot testing. I with a library. Okay. I I will be honest. I have no idea where to start. So I'm just waiting for instructions okay. here. <laughs> um, okay, so probably should uh, explain a bit about the concept mm -hmm. of what screenshot yes. testing is. That's a good point. Um, so it's for testing pixel perfect UI essentially, um, and what okay. it what it involves is uh, actually 
taking a screenshot um, and verifying it, comparing it pixel by pixel against an own good screenshot. So you've previously recorded one that you reviewed, think, yep, get the designer to review it, that that's exactly what it should look like. Then you can run subsequent tests comparing the current behavior with the previous one. And if it's the same, the test passes. If even so much as one pixel changes, it fails. Um, so it's a good way for picking up uh, UI regressions. Um, and there's a number of ways you can do about go about it. Uh, I did write a blog post uh, back in July, I believe it was, uh, which I can share in the uh, chat. Thank you, sir. Please, please bear please. with Thank me you. one second. Mm. Um, so in the blog post, I actually did it manually where um, we actually uh, captured a screenshot and did the comparison uh, and all that code was written. And the reason that I did it that way was because for the narrative of a blog post where I wanted to explain exactly how it works, it kind of made sense for um, uh, to actually show the code that did it. That made it much easier to explain. But there, there is a library out there um, that has already been mentioned in the, the, the chat, which is uh, shot by Kurumi. Um, so that's uh, what I'm going to suggest we do today because it requires okay. less code mm -hmm. um, and it works quite nicely. Uh, it does have some limitations, which we'll come to. Um, and Darth Kelly in the chat is asking, it sounds like it's only for really finished screens. Not necessarily, particularly when it comes to Compose. We, we'll, uh, we'll explore that as we go. Um, so, um, Yes, you can do it for full screens, but in Compose land, you can just uh, screenshot tests are composable. So you can change the granularity of what you do. So if you design one control, you can actually write a snapshot test for the control in isolation rather than as part of a much bigger stream. Uh, bigger screen so you you can control how it all works and we'll, we'll sort of uh, try and cover a bit of that as we go um, so the first thing that we need is to add the appropriate um, uh, dependency for Kurumi so uh, yeah let me first uh, I'm not seeing Seb screen at the moment so I should probably be looking at that yeah so uh, there we go so in our uh, libs.versions.toml we need to add, um, <laughs> sorry I couldn't resist <laughs> Oh, no, it's going to be one of those streams, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're here, Mark. What did you expect? <laughs> oh. um, so, yeah, you're just uh, copying in the, the various things uh, from here. And the latest version is, let me just find it. Uh, it is, uh, I've got it here somewhere. Where'd you go? Uh, ah, I'm looking in the wrong place. That's why. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Good start. Look at the wrong uh, code, uh, and then wonder why you can't find what you need. So it's is, currently. Is it not working? <laughs> yelling at clouds. <laughs> it is currently at five point eleven point two, I believe. Um, wow. Okay. I expected a zero. That's something. That's a. Uh... Mature it's library. A... I'm not used to that. <laughs> or they 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 are doing probably they are doing some hunting versioning right. Probably yeah. The uh, Karumi folks, I would expect them to yeah. Um. So how shop works is it adds some Gradle tasks uh, as well as some runtime uh, stuff that you can use in your tests. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is uh, actually apply. The, the plugin. Oh, that's the plugin. Oh, got it. Okay. So I need to actually call this uh, not shot, but rather uh, Gradle plugins something. 
So it is with its brethren's. Okay. And what is it? Gradle plugins dash shot. Okay, and you go down here. Good. Okay. So now I can sync again. Uh, what? Invalid catalog definition. Oh, yeah, obviously. I have fucked that up. So how much time since the first thing I fuck up? <laughs> Are we I mean, keeping that metric? We, we need to. <laughs> yeah, we need we need one of those, you know, minutes, scenes. Uh, Last incident. Up. <laughs> you were watching a yeah, master yeah. at work. We need one of those. <laughs> is that one of the OKRs? I don't know who go is it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Mark, th I think there's an interesting nice. question in the chat, uh, which is yeah. Like if you want to go for it, I'll I'll refresh and put uh, install the plugin in the meantime. Okay, doing it within the CI pipeline. Um, that kind of uh, is, uh, yeah, it, it's maybe not quite as simple as it sounds. Um, there is some nice new stuff that's been added in uh, Android Studio Chipmunk and the the, the Canary uh, Android Gradle plugin, which lets you define um, uh, emulator uh, specifications as part of your build.gradle. And then uh, during your build, it actually uh, can spin up a headless emulator. Um, and run your uh, instrumentation tests within that. And um, I, I had a play with that recently, and it, it works quite nicely. Unfortunately, it doesn't play nicely with shop at the moment because it only spins uh, runs up this um, uh, headless emulator for the uh, Android test uh, task. And as we'll see, uh, shot doesn't actually work quite like that it, it captures the screenshots during the android test stuff but it does some other stuff in uh additional tasks that are being added by um this uh plugin that we're currently playing with um i suspect there will be some very early feedback uh to uh the build tools team that there needs to be a way for other tasks to get access to this emulator instance uh, for certain things to work. So I think it's maybe something that will come, but is not quite so easy currently. If you have a way of spinning up uh, actual emulator instances as part of your test suite, then you can certainly use this. Or if your um, my personal setup is I have um, a, uh, a Jenkins instance on a cloud server. But then I have some remote nodes, and one of those is a, a, a headless Linux box, a high spec lin Linux box sat on my desk. I can plug a physical device into that. So I can r actually run my Jenkins builds on this uh, local machine, and then that has access to a local device so it can run all my Android tests on that. And shot works perfectly in that kind of configuration. So it's it, it's kind of you can do it, but it's maybe uh, going to get easier as and when the the, the new tooling uh, matures a little bit. So uh, very short question with a very long answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, but hopefully did that answer it. I like the fact that it works on a local machine with a local device for local people. <laughs> for local builds. <laughs> yeah, for local builds. <laughs> yes, and Seb, you haven't added the no, sounds. No, I have that not I have time. I'm sorry. Uh, but I, I hope for when we're back uh, that they will be there. I, I hope I have time. Just remind me when I'm back from London. <laughs> um. Just as a, just as a, <clears throat> because I, I'm exploiting the the, the stream. Uh, Bo thirteen, you have a private message on Twitch. <laughs> so check check the chat. Check the chat. Check the chat. 
the whisper or whatever Twitch kid call it. Right, anyway, so <clears throat> so we have a plugin, Sebastian. Uh, kind of. I just realized that I uh, I was looking for new tasks here and I didn't see any, and I just mm -hmm. realized that I had put it in the class path, but I hadn't applied it, the plugin to the app. So. So it doesn't work because it works. Well, it's not it doesn't work. It just hadn't been set up yet. So there's shot. No, oh, here it, you go. Shot is now. It doesn't there. work. Yeah. It doesn't work because Seb. Yeah, that's a that's yeah. a very <laughs> plausible explanation. Let's be honest. <laughs> Hashtag Seb. Hashtag Seb. Um, okay, we have the tasks. So uh, yeah, so there are now these uh, this. There's only really the one task you need to use, which is uh, execute screenshot tests. Yeah, um, but before you can use that, you actually need to add some tests uh, to execute. <laughs> Strangely Boring. Enough. I thought we had machine learning for this kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, how is called the uh, code? The uh, code whatever. So uh, get up the magic. Pilot? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. Yeah, sure. Um, so we need to add uh, some Android tests. So uh, okay, so a good place to start would be what should we test? Uh, maybe the settings okay. to start with. But I mean, we, he, Mark said we can test composables. Yes. Are we testing the whole screen or just a composable? Aren't they both composables? No, I mean yes, but you you <laughs> you know what I mean, genius. I'm just trolling I mean, you. <laughs> yeah, also, but. Uh, the um, no, I'm serious. I mean, if you if you build like a like a cohesive tiny composable, will it make sense to test that instead of the screen where you use it? Mark, I think that question was for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, what I'd be uh, inclined to do on a um, uh, I'm currently using shot on my day job where kind of it's uh, an unusual uh, requirement so I'm having just to, to test full activities the whole time okay okay, um, okay, okay. but um, certainly within compose um, I'd be inclined to to have various uh, levels of granularity on your tests so you know just like you you might with uh, unit tests and uh, full end-to-end -end tests you can do similar things with compose and screenshot testing. So you can just pick small components and make sure that they behave correctly. Um, and then you can maybe uh, shard them into to small and large tests so that you can run different suites because these uh, any Android tests are, are going to be slow to run. Uh, there's no getting away okay. from that. Um, yeah. Possibly that might be imp might improve further down the line if Android tests uh, for Compose can be spun up inside the JVM, um, which with uh, uh, Compose for Desktop may be a, a possibility. Um, but again, we don't have that now. So, um, you know, with, with uh, UI tests uh, now, you you might not want to run the full suite of UI tests every time there's a uh, a pull request open. You might yeah. want to break it up and have some uh, some across the board testing done for each uh, uh, PR, but then you maybe have a nightly that runs a full test suite and, and checks for, for stuff breaking badly. Um, but that's going to very much vary from project to project. I think that well, the angle remember. on using Compose for Desktop is quite interesting. Uh, I'm going to briefly touch on that on my talk on uh, on Thursday. But the idea is that you can like you can use the JVM to run uh, UI tests, so using Perfetto or whatever, and um, sorry, Express, I meant. And uh, and then you can uh, you can run them on your local machine instead of running them on a connected device or emulator, which obviously means it's incredibly faster. Uh, you kind of have the same problems that you have with um, uh, with uh, screenshot testing. Uh, sorry, 
that's for screenshot tested. Uh, with uh, with that, uh, you kind of have the problem of if you're trying to running to run those on the CI and the CI is headless, then it won't work because it it cannot display a window. So you're kind of screwed there. Uh, but you can, uh, in that case, fall back on the on running a headless emulator and and do that on on that one. Uh, and you can keep the faster iteration loop on your local machine when you need to run UI tests locally when you're making changes to make sure that everything ro uh, runs correctly. The screenshot testing situation on Compose for Desktop is a bit behind. There is something that I haven't really had time to look at yet. Uh, I've mentioned it in the slides, but only because um, I've asked people from the Compose for Desktop team, how do you do that? And they sent me a link. I haven't had time to look at it yet, but it's something that I plan to do uh, tomorrow. Um, the idea with that is that they have something that kind of works, uh, but they are I guess at some point they will probably make some uh, nicer UI uh, screenshot testing framework that you can use more similar to what you can do with SHOT. Unfortunately, SHOT, as Mark said, doesn't work with Compose for Desktop yet. I don't know. But that would also be a very good uh, thing to have because, of course, it's going to be much, much faster to run screenshots. And let's be honest, the fact that you don't have to pull the screenshots via ADB will also speed up testing a lot. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, there is, well, on top of that, besides that, that's what I was going to say earlier, which is if you think Android is fragmented, you haven't worked across uh, desktop OSs because the way things <laughs> look on Mac OS, on Windows and on Linux, just or even between two flavors of Linux, they're widely different. So uh, any screenshot testing you do there needs to be uh, run on always the same kind of machine. Because if you take the gold, uh, the golden images on Mac OS and then you try to run the screenshot tests on Windows, that's not going to work. You might have, like, you will need tolerances. You can probably just get work around some of text rendering issues with tolerances, but that might be trickier. So I'm done. That was what I wanted to say. <laughs> Think, things are hard. Yes, they're nice. always hard. Okay. Um, do you want to address have... the messages in the chat, Mark? Or okay. Um... Yeah. Um, this is one of the the um, so the. Uh, the limitations, uh, where do you save the reference golden images, Git repo? Yeah. Um, ideally, they, uh, they would be part of the repo. But one of the limitations with shot is it doesn't allow you to create multiple uh, golden image suites for different devices. So typically, you'll want to run your UI tests on different devices. Um, and this is one of the things that I addressed in the article earlier that I wanted to be able to have different sets of screenshots for different devices. And that's one thing that uh, I added in uh, my Roll Your Own implementation. It would actually put them in subfolders for different. Uh, 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 it, it would, based on the, 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 I think, the screen dimensions and um, DPI uh, density. Mm -hmm. um, shot doesn't do that, so you might have to make different runs and then store them differently. But then it would be difficult to pull the right one, and you'd start needing to to write stuff around shot. I haven't found a way within shot of of having multiple different devices and have each one compare with a different set of golden images. Um, so, yeah, with shot as it is. Uh, my understanding is that you basically would maybe check out your code, you record your golden images and verify them against one device, then to check against a different device, you check it out into a separate location, you'd then record your golden images. So you'd actually have two separate checkouts of the source tree, uh, and that would uh, be the basis for your testing. Um, and that doesn't really make it easy to then commit those images as part of your uh, your Git repo, which to me, if that is a source of truth for how the UI should look, 
it would be good to have it as part of your repo because then anyone has access to that that's working on the project and it means anyone should be able to run uh, those tests providing they have the correct device um, so if you have uh, multiple sets of golden images for different devices then you can build that up more completely because quite often different people will have different devices um, and so they can uh, be trained up separately um, so yeah it's I, I still think that there's some uh, uh, work would need to be done to to make that possible using shot so it's uh, it's not uh, an all-powerful solution uh, to my mind and it on although i'm using it with the, my current day job project um, that isn't so much of an issue um, because as i say there's some quite weird requirements for this but uh, uh, if that was uh, a hard requirement that these uh, uh, the golden images needed to be uh, uh, stored as part of the git repo then i would have to look at an alternative to shop and maybe sort of roll work on, further on my roll your own solution um because yeah that that's uh, something that shop doesn't do very well uh, i don't think so anyway shall we actually uh, get a test written yeah um, let's so Pick a small, uh, a smallish uh, UI component, and we'll. Do you want to do a test around just that. a component or a screen? I would say start small. Okay, sure. Um, and then you can, we, if necessary, we can do uh, uh, a, uh, a larger grained. Um, uh, component later on. So. Okay. Um... So one thing uh, I forgot we needed to do in the setup, we actually need to use a different test runner. Okay. To use shop. Um, so in our app build.gradle, we need to change the, the, the test instrumentation runner. And that needs to be com.karumi.shop.shop test runner. Like this. Exactly. Okie doke. So, um, this is where I uh, suddenly have to jump between screens because uh, my day job code is actually not using Compose. And <laughs> um, so we probably don't need an activity test rule. Uh, so I didn't think to look this up. The system died. This is okay. a first. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Dead system exception. The system died. Earlier logs will point to the root cause. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. Should we? I mean, this is a very <laughs> subtle hint to switch to iOS. Maybe. Uh, I don't know if it's the API 31 emulator because it used to work just fine. Uh, I just uh, requested the the permission because I think it was the first time that I was running the app on this emulator. I can switch to the API 31 in case, but let's see. Let's see if this works. Because it did run, but it, it does start. It just dies at some point. I don't know. Is that intended? Is anything intended? Uh, what is this complaining about? Yeah, whatever. Sure. Come on, Gradle. We believe in you a bit. Oh, nice. It, it is rebuilding everything because yeah. <laughs> iOS never dies. Um, I would actually, <laughs> I, I actually want to dispel that myth. Uh, iOS does slow down and it does die. Um, it is not always great oh it worked this time it didn't crash the os hello oh god this looks weird okay what was it uh it's just it looks weird i don't know uh yes take all my things 
But at least it's not sparkling. It's uh, not as much anyway. Okay. okay. No, the, but is it? It looks very. I don't know why it's white. Low contrast. I don't know why the text is white. I have no yeah, idea. It's and I'm not going to fix it now. Well, maybe it could be a screenshot yeah. test material. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, actually. Yeah. But then, I, then we would have to fix it, which is kind of like, yeah. Um, why is it not getting any notifications? Okay, fine. Uh, Android 12 compatibility, ch check. <laughs> <laughs> check. <laughs> so what if we had uh, like this one or, or maybe, I don't know, the about app. I don't know. One of these, like this row here, right? Okay. Sounds good. So the first thing, uh, our class must extend um, screenshot test. Boom. Implement. Yes. So uh, now we can write um, uh, a test around that. So. Um, Let's uh, ba, 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 ba. so if we are doing uh, testing for compose, yeah. we'll want to define a compose test rule first. Okay. So we need an at get colon rule, which is a val compose test rule or compose rule. And that is create compose test to create compose test rule. Oh, no. Yep. So there we go. Now we can write a test. Don't don't care about what I'm writing. It's just to have something there that we can change. Yeah, X X will be. <laughs> Okay, as well, Sebastian. You don't, you don't need to. Yeah, know. but okay. So now we can uh, create uh, a composable by calling compose test rule dot set content, mm, and then okay. in there we just instantiate the composable we want to test. Okay, uh, I need to remember that what is... it was because so I... now you need to find out what it's called. Yeah, <laughs> I have frankly no idea. Uh, Preferences. Oh, it's called preferences and not settings. Damn it. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, so let's see. Preferences screen. What's the name of this bad boy? Bad boy. Okay. So it's private, which kind of sucks. Uh, could make it internal. Yeah. We can make it internal. Uh, it was called Active Days Row. Active Days Row. Fair enough. And it's going to need a flow and. Yep. So we need a flow of some sort. Actually, we probably want to create it in here because we have the. Um, a state. The, yeah. Remember coroutine scope. Okay, and then we need the flow. Let's just for now create it uh, flow, and we can just create a empty flow. Well, actually, probably just flow off should be enough for now. Um, and uh, I forgot what, what type it needs. <laughs> so that would be flow and, uh, yeah, callback, whatever. Uh, sure. Okay. Yes, you can go outside. Move outside. Good. And this one. You need to type there. Yeah, but I'm lazy, uh, so I am going to do this. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Okay, I guess we can start with empty map. Mm -hmm. So it should have an empty thing there, I guess. 
Can it? Does it? But isn't it a map of weak data boolean? Yep. So doesn't it need all of them, whether true or false, or does it default? Yeah, but I guess we can screenshot. That's what happens when we don't have any. <laughs> yeah, we. we, can, we I can don't think it. we actually check anywhere that, that that's the thing. Uh, at some point, we should probably move away from having just a map because that is dodgy as fuck. But mm -hmm. dodgy is the name of the game. Okay. So now we have the composable. Yeah, we don't need the scope for now, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay. So now after the set content block, yep. uh, after that block, we can now call uh, compare screenshot. Okay. And uh, just give it a single argument of our compose test rule. Okay. Okay. That's it. Should we put a name so as well? We can name it if you want, but it will actually pick up. If you don't give it a name, it will pick up the name of the function. Oh, okay. okay. So it, it will laugh in the face of danger if you don't. I'd rather it have anything. it laugh in the face of danger. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you will admit it's a good name for a test. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the... Ivan will probably be thinking, is this actually a test? We're not asserting anything. Uh, and in that case, it is not a test because whenever you run the Android test task, this will pass every time um, because it's kind of misnamed compare sh uh, screenshot. It should more be capture screenshot because all oh, it's going to okay. do is capture a screenshot and store it locally um, on the, the emulator or the test device. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the other mm. task that we saw earlier, this executes uh, screenshot tests mm -hmm. uh, task. What that does uh, is uh, it's actually going to pull those captured images onto the local device and compare them with the saved golden images. Mm. Um, okay. So I, I'm kind of not, don't think this is a great name for the, the function because it, it kind of implies that there's something being tested here and there isn't. Mm -hmm. So mm. uh, yes, this isn't a test on its own. Um, it's a means to a test. You could add some assertions in here to, to verify that the state is correct before you make the screenshot. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That yeah. that might be valid, but then you're kind of then falling into the, you shouldn't test too much in a single test. Mm -hmm. um, but then that, that rule isn't kind of true for instrumentation tests because they take so long to spin up. It makes sense to test a few things while it's, it's there. It's so there. when you're there, yeah. Um, so, so what what happens if you run the um, the, the test should uh, I? as it is? Do we get yeah? If you run get it, a PNG somewhere, uh, it will be stored on the emulator. So you, you you should be able to use File Viewer, and you should see it. Uh, you can actually see there. It gives you a warning, and that is telling you where it's looking for the tests. Yeah, but Seb Sebastiano ran the task. Should we run the the test and then the task? How does it work? Uh, it, it, the uh, execute uh, screenshot test actually depends on uh, Android test task. Okay. So when you come to run that, it will automatically run the test. So it runs even tests so, that aren't screenshots, right? Yes, it's just going to uh, So, ooh. Uh, okay. Oh, is that because of the test runner? It might be. Is it the? Uh, is it the five? Can you use? Uh, yeah, I think I need to four? use the unit four. Uh, I mean, for the sake of the test. Mm. I mean, maybe you just can fix the import. Can you just fix the? I import? mean, I can use the other. The other import, sure, but I don't know if it's gonna make a much of a difference. Yeah, because oh. how do we set it up for the other tests? Those were working, like this one. Uh, 
Yeah, it's using the the boring. It's not the J Jupiter, the Jupiter. Boring. It's the the, the standard Fucking one. Boring. Yeah, you need to fix it. Boring. Try again. Two hours later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I mean the UI testing is is slow, right? Okay, so something happened. Well, oh, yeah. okay. Uh, it's failing all the things, Fate. which is good. I guess. A fail, fail. A, a fail test is, is good. Uh, no, it's not. That should be passing. Well, no, I, mean... I think it was failing the other ones. Um, it's the... You mean the one that Jose wrote? No, the ones that we commented shit out of. Um, those are probably bad. So onboarding, onboarding. Yeah, those are the ones that are failing. Yeah, just ignore everything. Ignore everything. Uh, so you might need to disable those. Yep. I'm, uh, going that, yeah, ignore, I'm going to do ignore that. It. Can I ignore, ignore it at the top the... level? Yeah, 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 you can ignore everything. You can ignore, you need to give it a reason, and the reason is we are waiting for Jose. <laughs> Jose needs to fix this. <laughs> uh, I think he's going to be happy now. Oh, look at that, it's wrong. Uh, skipped. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So what's going on here? Wait. 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 File exists. Um, exception. Destination. What the hell? Already exists. Are you running like multiple no. screen? Uh, apps, screenshots, debug, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's saying this already exists. This already exists. So, okay. so you might need to delete it. Yeah. Let's remove it. Ugh. Start from. Start fresh, start fresh. Okay, so run it. Now I'm getting curious, so go for it. Skipped. Ah, damn it. Uh, it's, dude, you just created it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the... Okay, maybe it is falling foul of the fact that we actually need to run this within the, uh, the Kurumi task. Uh, what is the Kurumi task? Um... So if you look at your Gradle tasks, yep. uh, execute screenshot tests. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm running. Ah, right. Uh, I'm not sure if it... Uh, I've had limited success running that from within the uh, Android Studio. Uh, it's better on a terminal. Okay. And so I was just going to run the actual uh, Android test first just mm -hmm. to make sure that that passes so if you just do an, uh, an android test uh, yeah let's make sure that the test pass which it should so because there's nothing being asserted in there uh, they're, they're let's just make sure it runs to, uh, yes we, we do I, I, I was coming to that uh, mm, okay no spoiler so, so we want to make sure that the test passes first so is that uh, What's failing the there? wrong task I never remember. Uh, is it no Android? Oh, it oh no, it's connected. Android? Connected test, yeah. Uh, con test. <laughs> A con and test. Yeah, got it. Con and test. Mighty warrior. Oh, oh look at. Yeah. I was doing okay. something, and it's not failing. So oh, that's okay. So that's ah, so. Passed. So it what is, that it is done, super broken. Okay. What is so so what what that is done is it's created this snapshot in the local file system, but what we actually need to do is compare that against uh, the golden. Yep. image and we don't have a golden image yet yep because we haven't trained it so so the task works what we need to do the task that like, they connected android test works in android studio as well I, it's just the execute screenshot something something that is yep. broken uh, because uh, android studio doesn't recognize that as uh, connected android tests uh, so uh, it doesn't actually display the results properly if we do it mm. that way um so 
the way to to the thing we need to do next is in the terminal we need to to do um, the snapshot uh, execute snapshot test and we need to add a parameter. Android Studio. It's not even a bit annoying the dialogue. Eh? Just a bit. No, it's not. I mean, no, it's okay. Right? Is super, that minus super e record, right? Yeah, and what that's going to do is that's going to run the test. Uh, or it should do. Well, it would <laughs> run the test. Uh, is it? Uh, oh, yes. Screenshot, not snapshot. So what that's going to do uh, is it's going to run the test, and then it's going to uh, it should. Uh, Man, this thing pull that screenshot across. So yeah, again, this saying, oh, you already have shit on your disk. Well, Fuck but you. there is a warning. <laughs> we could, there is a warning. We could not pull the screenshot from folder. Uh, I wonder if there is a. So yeah. Why not check that that exists, sure. uh, which you but, should I be mean, able to. The screenshot is here. You could do you from uh, it, the device file explorer. Yeah. No, you don't need to do. So it's not there. It yeah. looks like uh, it's ah, a folder. You might need to have right external storage permission. What? What is this? Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but you can do that from. Uh, Inside your Android test, you can yeah, there add is that to a manifest, a manifest just for your test. Fancy, how do you do that? Yeah, do you, there is an Android manifest. Uh, you can place an Android manifest in, I think, Android. It's in the folder, is it? No, but you I think Martin is saying folder. to do it from the code, not just creating it. No, no, uh, from the code. No, do, you, you can just do it from uh, as uh, Ivan says. You just add an Android manifest okay, to the top so level. Okay, that's what I was going to do. But I thought that you could like there's a fancy API that you can do it directly from the test or something. Possibly. Sebastiano, Sebastiano, basta! There are no fancy APIs. But I want just, fancy just do the, APIs. Every uh, build the build the bloody plugin. <laughs> no, this is Jose's job. Okay, but everything is Jose. Everything that is, if it's yes. in uh, slash Android so? test slash something is Jose's business. Yes, exactly. Okay, fair um, enough. I mean, as long as we are like aligned, are you really? Da, da, da. Uh, I'm gonna take the bits that I need. And only those. Mm. I think I just need the uh, user's permission, right? The rest is fine. I don't need it. Yeah, user's permission, mm. read and write, external storage. Um, and the, the, you don't need this. I need this? <laughs> I mean, you never know, but uh, I don't think it. Yeah, no, no, no. You're, you're correct. Okay. Okay. Let's try again. All right. Try again. Run. Run it again. Uh, I've run the connected under test. That's the wrong one. I need to run this one. Well, but you have something in the in the folder now. Uh, something in the folder. No, it's the same. It? The same that was there before. Okay. No for such file or directory. That's fine. And it still fails. Failed. Fuck Could me. not pull screenshots from folder. Yeah, it's like uh protocol. Can you access uh slightly you specified what yeah I think we need to fix some shit, but whatever. That's fine. Uh it's unrelated. Can you do can you do IDB shell from from where you are? I mean it could be and? that that's it. Just do log on the device. Can you log can you log on the device? Uh, I don't have IDB on the path. Fuck you, IDB. <sighs> If you look at device ex fi device file explorer, that might allow you yeah, to. Yeah, that might be easier. Uh, no, it's so on you the should be able... storage. Yeah. Storage emulated zero. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's there. Is it in pictures? No. 
Okay. Uh, oh, look. Under Android, maybe? Data, nope. Media, nope. Okay, well, DCI have, a look in, have a look in uh, in the terminal. That should tell you where it's trying to find it. Uh, download. Sorry, Jeremy, download. God my... knows why. My, my Skype just crashed. YOLO. Your what? My Skype. Ah. Okay. Like, like crashed. I mean, it's just poof. Ciao. It's Skype after all. So that seems to be. Do we need to set the test application stuff. ID? Maybe it's in the README. That's maybe. Yeah, you could try it. Um, yeah, I've definitely got that on my day job one. So that's in. Uh... <laughs> Fair enough. It's always useful, Mark, when when you tell us this stuff, right? Uh, it's, I, mean, so, I mean, I don't um, want to complain, but it's, you need to it's at the top useful. level. So after the Android block, uh, I don't know. It was it was in the default config here. Default config. Ah, okay. Uh, if you're using That's AGP what... seven, you may need to configure the application ID as part uh -huh. of the shut extension. Okay, so maybe we need to. Do That's this. what I've done. Yeah, that needs to go outside of the Android okay. block. Okay. Okay. So I'll just put it. Yeah. When I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Shot application and ID. The app name. Um. What was it? No, you need to make that. Does it your... match? I need to match. Uh, that's annoying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's doing Dev Sebastiano bundle test uh -huh, uh -huh, currently. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because that's your test app. Okay, so let me nuke this bullshit just in case. Okay. Yar. Uh, hi. I don't know why I just said that in Japanese. I have no clue. Because you can, Sebastiano, because you can. So people don't know, but Sebastiano speaks Japanese. No, I don't. Um, we could not pull... It's still trying to pull it from the wrong place. So there's that. Uh, also, mm. this looks suspicious. I... Ah. I saw something along those lines once. Uh, what was causing What do you that? think about that? I'm going to fix the protobuf thing because it's annoying. Uh, Go for it. Uh, specified files. Um, fun fact, I did not. <laughs> uh, plugin sources. No, you know, I did. This makes you vulnerable. It makes me vulnerable to something that I haven't done. Damn it. Vulnerable. You're vulnerable. Is it this? Uh, yeah. Fun fact, we're not doing that. I think, I suspect, uh, that's data store that is doing it. And we are mm. transitively... So Florina is making it yes, vulnerable. Yes, yes. Uh, I will complain to Florina. Florina, yeah. you are make us vulnerable. I think I've seen something along that, and you can just uh, ignore Don't that. Don't you need to uh, grant permission rule from the test? I'm not sure what you mean. I have no idea. The read and write, but, me, read and write Ilke, external Ilke, storage. I mean, that's... Ilker is definitely like a normal day. Mm, from the... Grant permission rule from the test. Do we need to put, do we have like an example on the? Um, yeah. I mean, there probably is an example, but. Uh... Okay, wait. So we are, we are implementing the screenshot test thingy. Oh, uh, using shot on API. Do we need to do this. Oh, we need to do fancy stuff. Ah, okay. You'll have to enable okay. access to non SDK interfaces. Execute the following commands. Uh, Execute. Let's try to. That's definitely going to work well on a CI. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And with the the headless uh, stuff that's uh, yeah. coming in. Isn't ADB here? Sebastian, you're not using the Ubuntu one? You're using no, this one? No, because it was I never... weird shit. Um... Mm. Sure. I don't remember. Yeah, say. I have a... I have a... ADB. Yeah. A weird relationship with the Ubuntu one. I mean, it gives me a lot of confidence because I I have a lot of Linux experience, but then the the you know the mixed world of my code project is in IntelliJ on a Windows partition, and Ubuntu is trying to read it from the other yeah, side of the world. Yeah, that's part it's... of what goes wrong most of the time. Um, yeah, it's not the main smooth. problem I've seen is that if you're using Gradle, which we are, and you're running it on the um, WSL side of things, uh, it will create files with the wrong line endings. So if you then run the Windows yeah. one, it's going to get very upset at you because it finds files that are not the way it expects them to be. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I think the easiest thing you could do like this is way to make it work. Thank you for the follow. Would be to run the entire IDE. Oh, thank you for the sub. I'm Urgillo. I don't know who you are. Um, if you, you I mean, can... whoever it is, thank you for supporting us for like six months. What? Yeah. Uh, but... Their six months anniversary. No shit. So where, where are we? I have done what they've asked, but it still complains that this uh, doesn't exist. Well, no, it complains that it already exists, no, already but exists. it also complains that it doesn't exist. And it's still using the wrong application ID for whatever reason. I don't know. Yeah. But why it's the cor why is wrong? I mean, that's not one? Mm, no, I don't think so. So if we look at this well, they, uh, again, what? I mean, it creates the it, it creates it at dot test, uh, and it's trying to pull it from the right place, but it's trying it's to pull there, screenshots there default none. instead uh, of do you need to add, default. do you need to add the dot test to the package in the test manifest uh, in that file? Do you need to add dot test to the end there? Do I? Okay. Oh, wait. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, terminal. Let's try again. I don't know. Maybe. Nope. Ah, Still the same problem. Um, wait, wait, wait. There is an issue on the chat. Uh, issue 140. Show me what you got. Uh, oh come on! So it looks like a Windows thing, really? Ah shit! Cannot pull screenshots oh, from the phone and project me. on Windows 10. Uh, I'm adding a marker. I'm adding a marker on the stream. Uh, fuck. Issue issue number one four zero. Yeah, but this uh, is like well, it's old. It's old stuff. It's a year old. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Sebastian, they want a contributor to help. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> I have plenty of spare time after all, so why not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, yeah, it also you also yeah, get no this cursing. one, so we also have <laughs> thank, this problem. Thank you, thank you, Aurelio. So let's not curse for five minutes. Thank you. Uh, perfect. <laughs> uh, that, that's perfect. Five minutes. Anyway, right? Sebastiano, Good. you can um, you, you can create a comment. I am uh, upvoting and you can that. point them to the stream. I am upvoting that. You can that. point them. <laughs> Uh, you can point them to the stream. Hi, we have a repro. Uh, yeah, but uh, it, it looks um, like it's just... This is like whatever. You just run it and it blows up, which is what we're seeing. So, Mark, what about your hand roll yes, that... solution to the problem? <laughs> okay. Um, 
so uh, for that, uh, I haven't got the project open for that, of course. So bear with me one second. So what, what's what's happening? Are we are we a band aborting on window? Uh, no, we are aborting a shot. We gave it a fair shot, and it failed us. Ha ha ha! Okay, so <laughs> are we doing it manually? Yep. Y'all. So, um, it's a lot of code, my friend. Yeah, but I can copy paste it. Ah, okay. That's kind of the point. I think I can just do. I need just need to get the assert thing, or um, yeah, you you could uh, basically copy that um, uh, this where one. Where are we? I'm trying. To... Yeah, if you cut and paste that into. So this is uh, for to so save people from uh, reading the the article. Um, this is based on some code uh, that's in the Rally sample app uh, that does uh, basic screenshot testing. Uh, but I had some additional requirements, um, uh, as I touched on much earlier on. I wanted to be able to run it on different devices and have different. Uh, have the, the the golden screenshot saved. Um, now this is by no means uh, as automated as the Karumi uh, screenshot stuff, um, but it might work. But yeah, which is a big <laughs> advantage. <laughs> well, it's a statement of fact. It doesn't work on Windows, so we're kind of stuck. It's not like we have a choice. Uh, yeah. Um, I can close this one. Uh, I don't need this one anymore. Bye. Okay. And I am just going to dump this stuff here. Did I? Uh, no, I need to create a file. Boring. Uh, Mark's code. Yes, this is Mark's code. If it breaks, it's Mark's well, fault. <laughs> it's not all my code. It's based on. Uh, so it's Jose's fault, after all. It's yeah, based on it's some usually. of Jose's co oh, code, no. but with some. Ouch. No, this is the uh, the plugin that Mark's blog uses to highlight code yeah. that sometimes does that. Yeah. Uh, it kind of forgets uh, HTML. Yeah. Okay. How to HTML. So I guess we just do grid compose rule. Uh, uh, yep. So let's. Uh, do I need to also put this there? Uh, yeah, that that's uh, a good idea because that's going to clear uh, existing images for this particular. So um, what I'm doing here, you, you'll have to forgive me. It's uh, a few months since <laughs> I wrote this. So it's uh, fine. I don't remember what I've had for breakfast. Uh, so uh, yeah, what I did was I used uh, test tag names. Um, and this, uh, thinking about it, this isn't going to allow testing of individual uh Composables, although it might it might work. Uh, That's right. da, 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 da. I'm just uh, okay. We can do yeah. It might it screen. should work with. Well, let's try yeah. it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yolo it. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, why even bother? <laughs> I mean, worst case scenario, we end up with a library. Like <laughs> you mean a shot? <laughs> a two? screenshot library that works. Shot. So it's a. Uh, can know, we like call a, it shit? We we can call it shotgun. <laughs> No, we can call it shotgun. <laughs> can, let's call it shotgun. Like there's a I mean, dagger and there's gauge. ice pick. We, we should scale down and go like from shot to, I don't know, clap? Needle. Needle. <laughs> I don't know. Needle, like Arya Stark, <laughs> sword or something. Okay. Well, actually, the five minutes are over. Are so Sebastiano is just right on time. Good. Great. 
No, uh, I'm, shit I is have not, a funny feeling there was some swearing in there. <laughs> cursing because no, no, they no, don't no, blip no. it on American it, TV. I... If they don't blip it on American TV, it doesn't no, count the swearing. Sebastiano, also known as PG-13. Yes. Sebastiano PG-13 Poggi. I like it. I need a t-shirt. Oh, God. <laughs> you need too many t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, definitely too many t-shirts. Okay, so um... should laugh in the face of danger. Fail, because fail, file not found. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, well, the reason it failed is because there's no golden image uh -huh. to compare yeah, it to. One. So th this is kind of uh, comparing it in situ. Um, so I need to uh, remind myself <laughs> of how I think we need to manually pull uh, uh, things across. Yeah, I probably uh, just go and find. Uh, where do you store the images? Do you remember? Otherwise, I'll just double check in here. Yeah, I'm kind of looking now uh, screenshot folder name uh we are giving another shot hugo come on <laughs> <laughs> oh shit so maybe it's here. On, we, but no. i agree we need a we need a, a new soundtrack for the stream hugo you need to build uh <laughs> Like a, a new song? create a new soundtrack, a new soundtrack. You know, like the the intro thing. I want like an intro thing that contains like, but, but... swearing to prepare the audience. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I want I want something very house club. You know, clubbing kind of the kind of the thing that he plays on, yeah. on Friday. Okay, what we need to do is if we have a look at File Explorer. Um, yep. And we want to actually find the files in there, which should be within the uh, file storage. Um, so please bear with me. I'm trying to look at two different screens at once here, <laughs> and they both happen to. Um, so where's Skype gone? I can't see your screen. So uh, I, you'll be better off in Device File Explorer. Because we need to copy them across. So, oh. so I'm just trying to blah 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 blah. blah. Well, I should say somewhere in the in the log anyway where it's stored. It. So, like a print line, something, should something. Be. There's a file not found there. What what's that saying? Uh, yeah, this is uh, the the settings. gold. Uh, the exception, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I was expecting. Uh, well, can you can you like add save a screenshot? Line? Save the screenshot. Yeah, too. it's yeah. there. So, yeah, that that seems to be the problem. It never saved it. Is it because it's trying to load the other one first? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what we what it is is we don't have the golden images defined. So you need to look in the data of uh, your app the data folder yeah but there isn't anything uh do i need to refresh it should be right, no it's data data right yeah and yeah dev... there is oh. yeah i think it just fails before that can you breakpoint it uh, sure. I just wanted to see where this is called. Capture to image as Android bitmap. Uh, save screenshot. Yeah, this should be saving it. So the failure here uh, is uh, somewhere. Wait, why is it? Could, the asset manager could, could it be what the forward slash um Ooh. maybe here? could it be the windows doesn't like forward slash oh yeah don't don't use the slash use file dot yeah. separator yeah line 43 mark this is not this is not multi-platform <laughs> come on shame on you Okay, uh, that's fine. 
Let's try and run it. I told, I'm telling you, I mean, in worst case scenario, we end up with a library. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Same error. But it was a good Same idea. Same error. Is it? But now there is a different name. Okay, that's legit. Oh, well, but settings. No, I said the colon. Try... Well, the problem is the colon. Windows no, doesn't no, but do because colons. it's separate or not separate or char. It's the same thing. Is it? Or is it? Oh, no, it's not path separator. I'm stupid. No, it's separator. Yep. Separator. Yeah, because yep. yeah, path separator, you cannot use it in a path for very obvious reasons. Because otherwise you wouldn't... Oh, come on. <sighs> Okay, so it's this. still this because it's running like this is running on a device. Oh, it's running on on the phone, yeah. so it's a slash. So okay. it's forward Fair slash, enough. which is sorry, Mark, for bashing on your it's non, fine. non multi platform. <laughs> this thing is not multi platform. Um, <laughs> so okay, okay, let me. Let me. I'm just gonna screen. Uh, come break on, point. debug it. Breakpoint. Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> I don't know why there is. Be a good boy. Who's a good boy? Not Android Studio. Who's a good boy? The uh, compiler. Come on, Gradle. Be a good boy. Come on. Come on. No, it fails. Why is it not fail? It... What? That's not. What? Wait. Okay. What are you running, Sebastian? <laughs> Can you put a to do? Put a to do like a uh, non implemented yet. It's just to make it crash. Sorry. Ah. Mm. I'm fine. Come on. Let's see. Come on. Nope. Okay, it's still failing, but which what? is fine. Uh, but is it printing anything? It does not look like it is. Or is it printing it on the log cat? Maybe it's printing it on the log cat. No. Well, I don't think so, right? Maybe not not error. So Try is it, a, is it a test task? Uh -huh. Okay, to... it's running. It's mm, running. Mm, mm, okay. mm, mm, mm. So it is executing okay. un until there. And I think it's failing okay. here, probably. I don't know. Uh, is it because it's trying to do it from here? Like it's trying to load the golden that doesn't exist. But I'm, I can't work out why. Because it seems like it's doing name. the opposite <laughs> of what uh, Shot does. Shot downloads the screenshot. It looks like this one is uploading yeah. the screenshot. And then comparing it on device. Yeah. So that might be. It's loading it from assets and comparing it to the golden yeah, one. Yeah, but there's obviously no assets because we don't have one. So uh, yeah. maybe. But the thing is, it should have saved it at this point, right? Yeah. So that that's the, the thing. It should have saved it to. Uh, to if you look at the save screenshot method, yeah, okay. uh, which oh oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, it's a mm -hmm. different place. Uh, oh, I keep opening the wrong panel. You? Please disregard my inability. Data, data uh, user. Yes, the thing is, we don't have data user zero because that's here. Um, so should we use another path? Why is it using data user? I think it's because uh, there's users on the device. So it's like what we're seeing is the data for user zero in theory. In practice, okay. So I don't know. <laughs> Theoretically, can you can you pick another path? Can you yeah, pick, I'll just, pick like SD yeah, card I'm gonna, dot I'm mark? Do that. Um, folder name. So where is this? That's the game. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna put it screen settings screenshots. 
Okay, and this is going to be used folder name here. And this is going to be used here. And I don't want to get the mm. files there. I want to get the external external files there, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't remember the types you can pass, but uh, there should be written somewhere. Aha. I can do right. environment directory podcasts. <laughs> nice. I like or it. Or pictures, maybe. Yeah, I think pictures makes more sense. Okay. Uh, saved there. Okay. And let's try to do. Go for it. I need to check because I think the golden one is probably doing. Yeah, that that's going to. It's still going to blow up. Not... But. Yeah, because there's going to be no, yeah. nothing in the golden file. But what we, we should have at the end of this is that file that we can pull across. Yeah into the golden yeah. Yeah. Okay. directory okay sebastiano check the the, the storage hi hi the hat looks uh legit. why is golden name what uh is it missing uh oh you're missing you're there, missing the dollar, dollar yeah. damn it i am not missing anything Sorry it was again. already missing no you're missing no you're missing <laughs> <laughs> maybe that was the whole problem in the first place uh, maybe who knows? Well, yeah, but you still wouldn't have been able yeah. to access data slash user slash zero. Okay, I am just Try still again. going to. I don't understand why the folders change color. I don't know if you notice it. Like they are bluish and then yeah, they yeah. become gray. Yeah. But probably the refresh. They are refreshing. Uh, file not found exception again. So the the screen the the folder is different. Okay. There is a dash screenshot. Yeah, that's so. Let's fine. so. What's actually has anything actually been said? Yeah, let's see because I yeah. Think... Can you can you check the if there the, are yes, this may be yes, because this, this may be because the we don't now have a golden image. Uh, We're getting a different error at least. Yep. <laughs> uh, it Android data, and it's still not there. What the fuck? Are you telling me that the problem is that it didn't update? Are you did you go to storage emulated? Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh maybe. No, but you need to check pictures. Storage. Yeah, okay. I'll I'll just do it that way. Storage, emulated, storage, zero. emulated, zero, uh, pictures, pictures, no, pictures. Dude. Ah no, Android. Android. Okay. But uh yeah, it's just not there. Oh. Aha. Looks like we have a pickle. How the fuck What's is this it? happening? <laughs> there, are, there is a there is a picture there is a picture folder. Can you just open it just for the cigarette? Sure. It's empty. Nice. Yeah, it's okay. We Never tried. Enjoy. Never mind. Question mark? <laughs> I don't know. Partial success? Question mark? <laughs> Well, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I actually wanted to try another place instead. Uh, so first of all, instead of this saves the screenshot. Can, yeah, can you just there. hard code? Can you just hard code a path instead of yes, using the environment? Uh, that's what I wanted thing. to try and do. I just wanted to check. Oh yeah, this loads shit from the assets. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, I don't understand why you would put that the screenshots in the assets folder. That's that feels weird. But um well it's kind of a, a hack. Um I would say so. Um but it, it saves having to write a separate uh test uh it, it's only in the test assets folder, so it's kind yeah, of yeah, a... I know, I know, it's still still annoying. Uh as the guard pictures oh, was it pictures with a capital p yes it was uh folder name 
Uh, does it? I don't remember if it had that or not. Uh, let me just quickly check what it was. Save screenshot. So files there. So yeah, no, it just wanted this. Okay, let, let's try and run this. Because now I would expect shit to appear in the pictures folder. Uh, first of all, did it actually save? Yes. Mm -hmm. So SD card, pictures. Aha! Something. Fuck you, Android. Something, something. Fuck you, Android. Sorry. <laughs> so now okay. we can copy that over to our uh, assets folder. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, do assets. And I need to copy the whole folder, right? Yeah, and I seem to recall that we need to prefix it so that uh, no, it shouldn't. It's got the uh, dimensions in there, hasn't it? Uh, so uh, app source Android test assets. Good. Okay. Cool. This is. Okay, so if I try to run it again, it shouldn't fail. I mean, it still failed with the same error, but uh, that might just be because uh, the path that I saved it in the assets is wrong. Uh... We have a look in the assets folder. Yep. Yeah, it didn't for whatever reason. Yeah, you, you need uh, to put it in settings hyphen screenshots. You need to create a directory in there. Uh, screenshots, yes. Yep. And then move your golden image into there. So we should actually look at the golden image and make sure that it's what we expect. It is not, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, OK. Oh, it's because there's uh There's no days. Yeah, I need to take out the, the timestamp. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Maybe now. Maybe now. Yay! Yes! Something happened. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, first try. First try. try. Yes, it didn't take an hour. <laughs> first it's try. fine. First try. First try. I love it. Okay, so now uh, this is still a giant hack, but at the same time, I don't give no. a shit. It's fine. Yolo, yolo. No worries. Oh, you know what? I add a comment with a to do and an issue, like a GitHub issue. Please iterate, <laughs> improve. Jose, please fix this. <laughs> First try. First try, indeed. Love indeed. it. Okay. Yeah, I, I have seen some weird behaviors with getting external storage on emulators and stuff like that. So possibly that's why this wasn't working. I don't know. I don't know. Well, there is also that Sebastian is using what? Like latest, latest Android emulator? Maybe it's there stable, is dude. new it stuff work. that we don't know about. No, but maybe there is some permission weird thing that we are not addressing. I don't know. Ivan, I just noticed that the also, all the weird lights you have in your room are really throwing off the white balance on your webcam. You, you look like a Simpsons. <laughs> the Simpsons. Let, where is it? I don't know, but you look very yellow. <laughs> Do I look yellow? What? Am I? Yes, you are. No, I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> okay, so now we have but, a screen uh, with that. No, I think we I know, think we know it works. I think it's it's something. It, it's like a codec thing because I, I I see myself decent on the local monitor. Anyway. Yeah, on Skype you look fine, Ivan, but on the stream you're slightly yellow. You're slightly yellow. Super yellow. So, well, I mean donuts. Uh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Fix it. What can I say? What can fixed I it. say? You're, you're, fixed. you're fixed now. 
you you look nice, nice. super like what i mean what do, what do you mean like there is like a screenshot or somebody no else? i i disabled the uh, the color correction uh that was applied to your camera uh, don't don't correct sebastiano don't correct uh it, it seb's got a color correction that makes everything turn yellow that's what it is uh i think it was calibrated oh, yeah, because of it the was yellow. calibrated for the daylight and now that the daylight is gone and you only uh, have the other uh, lights in the window uh yeah, it's yeah, yeah. over correcting yeah. let's say <laughs> super, super correct yes yeah i mean the the dog is disappeared as well that's always a good sign um so what do we have <laughs> So what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? I'm excited. So we have a, a bunch of fun. A bunch of things, yeah. I think we can revert this one because we're not using yeah, shot. We can remove this one. And what's in the build gradle file here? Uh, here you can also, also remove revert. this one, I this. guess. Sorry. Uh okay, yeah. Okay, good. I have committed that. So, uh, I think let's test. Something. Well, our screenshot test already brought up the fact that we're not really doing the right thing here, as in the, it, it should say no days here, right? When the map is empty, probably, or just not show anything. Just active days sh days should be in the middle. Well. Well, let's do let's do let's do TDD or something like you know, let's decide what to what should we see and then let's make it happen and see the test pass. Yeah. So. Oh no, that's not the way it works, right? Because you need to compare on a screenshot that you already have. So yeah. that was dumb. You cannot really I, do I that. Can't we are kind of doing it the uh, yeah. other way around. The other way. Uh, yeah, the other way. Around. Sorry. Tim, uh, Tim is asking if the next nice. time I will use a Mac. And uh, maybe when I get the new Mac, yes. Uh, but currently, the Mac I have uh, does not do video calls and Gradle at the same time, let alone streaming on top of that. So, sorry. Mac is not so, an option right now. <laughs> but. So, okay. So, the thing Let's is, see. like, the, the the empty text should never be shown. So the animated content here uh, should should be based not on the well, not just on the uh, days res IDs. Uh, it should be um, it should check whether it's empty or not as well. I don't know. Like okay. normally, you would do it with the animated visibility, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But in this case, we are using animated content. So what we can do is probably just do if uh, days res ID is, is not empty. And that should probably work the way we intend it. So let's let's try and see. I, I, I also want to see the screenshot failing. Uh, so but but for a good reason. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah. So now we have an old screenshot. We are going to generate a new one. The comparison should actually fail. Yes. So this is the idea, right? Yeah. And it looks like just in case Gradle has decided to rebuild everything from scratch because I changed. <laughs> I've added yeah. an if. Oh. That's clearly invalidated. No, because the build you cache. you. No, because that's you, you say that you want to use a Mac, so right, right. That it triggered, it triggered, it triggered Gradle. Ah, uh, come on, it shouldn't be this slow. Well, imagine on somebody else's laptop, imagine on a laptop, Jesus. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> do you like watching paint dry? Yeah, I mean, this Even, is... Do you want to give away fuck? some stickers in the meantime, maybe? Uh, yes, let's try to do this. Uh, I already... It failed. Uh, yeah, that's good. It failed. It's good. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, well, no, it's not good. Oh, I know why. Because you're you've you put the size in the file name, and now this is shorter because there's only one line of text, and so the file name has changed. That's why. Okay. We can we can simplify that. Yeah, I think when uh, I when I wrote this, it was based on doing full screen yeah. testing, so that would be perfectly valid mm -hmm. there. So maybe. That would need a rethink. Yeah. That maybe we could actually put a device name in there rather than. Uh... Yeah, it would would seem more sensible. Do you like in this one? You have maybe you can pass the whole test rule instead of passing the on route. Um, well, what you could do is inflate it inside an act. Activity um, and do yeah. it that way. Uh, but maybe at the same time, you kind of want to make sure that the size of the component is correct. So. Yeah, but then the pixel by pixel comparison will do that for you. If they're different sizes, you're going to get a failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I, I think, like, if you put it in, a, in an activity, uh it might be harder to check that the for example a margin like a padding around the, the component itself is is there or not i don't know i don't know i think it's more of a philosophical question at this point uh but if you do pass in the whole compose test rule so let's say just we change that from uh what it was before, so the semantics node interaction. So this would be node dot on root. Uh, this is not node anymore, though. It's rule, and we can technically make this maybe a receiver. I think it would look slightly nicer. Okay, and here maybe we can figure out the device name or something like, or maybe the uh, API level. Or that the actual screen size, can you get that? I think you can. Like you can do something like this resources, uh, display metrics, and okay, display uh, metrics. Yeah. Those are pixels. Yeah, no, you can pixels pixels here, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, let's do this. So let's have. Display metrics, and this is all device screen size and uh, dup, dup, and dup, and this would be height. Okay. And now here we use device. So if you want, if you want stickers, type pixel perfect in the chat and get some sticker. That was okay. Yeah. So this is probably going to work as expected in the sense that it's going to give us the actual device screen size instead of the bitmap screen size. Yeah, but we're still gonna need to um, yeah pull the yeah, golden absolutely. image but back we need to generate again. It first, so yeah, <laughs> so that should have failed, but we expect it yep. to fail. Let's just check that it failed yep. for the reason we expected yep. it to. I was wondering, is there a way to check? Although. Is yeah, because right? the file name is different now, I guess. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, but yeah, it's no, no, no. 1080 by this 133. One so, yeah, that needs to be. Device screen size. But also, I wanted to check, is there a way with assets to see if a file exists before opening it? I don't think there is. Mm, nope. That sucks. But I think the use block should sort of just do a no op. Yeah, no, I just wanted to provide a better 
error here, but it does whatever. It doesn't yeah. matter. Like, well, you, you can do uh, run catching on this and then. This is gonna this is gonna give you a result. You need to map on failure and on success. Congratulations for the yeah I know it's it's, it's perfect. Uh, it's giving me OCD. Would you wait a second? It's giving me OCD to the, for the the auto formatter. I know, but okay. It's way better now. Super better. <laughs> the the floating the floating brackets is How perfect. Do you, like this is it better? I don't think it's better. I, I, I don't know. think there's a way I, to make it look nice. No, but so probably this is a hint. Yeah, you shouldn't be using run catching. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I can do this. I don't know. No. No, no, no. Go for try catch for run catching is fine, but I think you can do uh, fold. Maybe it's it's a bit better. What do you mean? You can do fold on run catching instead of doing on success. And I mean, it's the same thing, you, but, but probably oh, I don't yeah, know it if it. Yeah, yeah, it has fold. It doesn't have flat map. The only one that doesn't have is flat map. But the, it has map and fold. Okay. So time is up. Let's run the stickers. Boom! Dart Kali, congratulations for congrats. the giveaway. Winning! So congrats. I'm going to just reach out probably on Twitter or uh, probably on Twitter. Um, so I'm going to, yes, super congratulations. Um, let me get here. That's so we are we are tracking everything. So da, 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 da. let's see giveaway. And I need to do this in just okay. I don't need this anymore. This. Okay, I still hate this Stickers. thing done this way, but whatever. I think one thing I can do is this. And yep, resources. Okay, this is going to look slightly less horrible now. Slightly horrible. less, I said. Okay, I can, I can mm -hmm. even do this. When? Look, look, Ivan, look at A, this. Look at this. A for look at this. It looks decent enough. Ish. Yeah, yeah. A for B A for, for results. <laughs> uh, okay, so on failure uh, has the exception here, and I think it's worth just to throw um, legal state exception. No, runtime exception. Uh, where we want to do uh, no golden image found for, uh, and then I think we have the golden name on device with size. I think this is a better error than what we had before. Uh, which was a bit generic -y. Fair enough. <clears throat> I mean, we still want the test to fail, right? So. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, do, do you think you can run? Thank you. Is it going to rebuild everything? Maybe. Maybe not. No, it's not. Yeah. All the time? Yeah. No, it's fast. It's a bit um, fast. Yeah, no golden image found. Yeah, I, I think that's okay, a bit no better. Golden image it's more informative. Found. Oh than what we had yeah, before. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Um, now, let's make it pass. <laughs> we make it fail, we print a better oh, yeah, error, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we make it yeah, green. Yeah. <laughs> the famous four phases of TDD. <laughs> when you are building the testing framework, that's uh, you have one phase more. Okay, there's there's a few. Well, we, 
We have. So Ooh. we want the latest one, I think. Uh, what was oh, it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's so broken. No, no, come on. You get it. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. okay, so I think it is this one. Yep. Uh, can we? Yep. No, of course we cannot drag and drop it. That would be too nice. Um, do I have the okay. recent one? Yes. Oh, nice. That was okay. easy. And now I can actually, uh, well, no, I don't want, yeah. You can delete the existing. Yeah, I was just thing. seeing if I could yeah. reuse parts of it, but it's just easier to not. Okay, let's run it again. And yay! Also, yay! Yes. It looks nice. Okay, should we add one nice. more test okay. to see that when you actually have days, it doesn't yes. look like shit? Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so should laugh harder. <laughs> I can't believe it. We are building a, frame, a testing framework live on Twitch. <laughs> On That's a what we do. Uh, yeah, this is what we do, apparently. Yeah, and that's fixing, what we do. And fixing uh, my bugs. Jose's bugs. Uh, we well, usually fix seven bugs. bugs. <laughs> but, so, yeah, it's, yes. I mean, it, it, we are in the, we are in the yeah. test folder, so it's Jose's stuff. Yeah, that's, that's Everything just is how it works. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, you how, how they call it? Uh, code ownership. This is folder ownership. <laughs> yes, I uh, just wanted to do. Where the hell is that default day schedule? Yes, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, there is. A, I can do a that you can improve, yes. Sebastian. Associate. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's so bad. How, mnemonically speaking, how can you go from map to map? You to just need the associate? right mental Shit, association. <laughs> wow, that was so bad. I was I, I was like waiting for something like you know map was something. No, associate. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, whatever. Yep. I mean, naming is hard, so I don't, I don't argue. Yeah. Okay, now this is gonna oh fail God. again because obviously uh, we don't have the golden image, but at least it should say that instead of like, yeah, yeah. So let's see what what's foul. the error. Let's check the error. Oh my God, we don't Why? have the golden image. <laughs> uh, is it fuck? normal that it's not deleting the old ones? Didn't it do it? Um, it does timestamp oh, okay. them. I thought um, I saw somewhere there was a delete or clear. Clear. Are we calling are the we... delete? Are clear we calling that image. image? Yeah. I thought we are. Do... Okay, oh, maybe that's, that's why not it's being wrong called. Directory. Yeah, but it's the folder is wrong. Ah. Directory. Mm. <laughs> it's the red <laughs> Zirung Okay, so I am going to be very fancy. Oh, well, look at I'm that. You could extract a constant. Get <laughs> you can next. Screen shots there. You for it, screens, yep. not directory. Which would have been fitting for before. <laughs> oh, thank you for the sub. Um, that would have been very fitting, I, I find. You. Okay, let's put it here. And this would be get screenshots there. Well, that's actually. Get. Path, I guess. Okay, mm -hmm. that should work. Uh, I'll probably just do something like uh, put a print line here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Informative. Dear. I cannot type anymore. Clearly, time to close the stream. <laughs> Soon enough. Soon it's, enough. It's, uh, it's approaching. Yeah. Almost it's there, approaching. though. Almost there. Okay. And now I expect that we will only have one 
thing here. Instead, we have 15. <laughs> or 12 teen, <laughs> should I say. Um, 12 teen, yes. yes. Uh, should be in logcat, right? <laughs> Clearing. Clearing screenshots there. Yes. Um, it should be. Uh, does this not work? Uh, okay. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, how about if else with a print line? I mean, is that even completing? Okay, wait, what was it? Yeah, it's not failing. Ah, uh, but you got Is failed it? cleaning rather than clearing. Uh, so maybe... Bad typo. Can't English anymore. It's difficult. I'm no speaker, no native speaking, right? Yeah, failed. Is failed. delete recursively? So, okay, why is failing? Should does it exist? Then partial data may have taken place. Should you put another slash at the fine. end? No. How does it work? I mean, that's the same way we it created okay. here, right? It should be fine. Uh, okay. Delete recursively. Okay, let me be a bad person. What do you want to do? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's a to file. Check? Why is it? You not? want to check? Oh, my. Fuck you. Uh, exists. Then that, 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 that. There's nothing to delete, right? Mm hmm. So I'm just going to be screenshots there. Oh, doesn't exist. Okay, and I'll just return. There's nothing to do. Okay, and now I guess I can just check in log at screenshots. Same screenshot failed. Yeah, it's no. still doing it. So it exists. So the folder is there, but we Why can't. Why can't we do that? But Sorry. it doesn't fail when it removes i mean it's it's not failing right so delete recursively giving you a boolean that is false when yep. it fails right successfully deleted false otherwise is and there anything in is, logcat just before it that's maybe see. giving a let me uh do like an error or some sort Uh, yes, that's stupid. That's what I meant to do. Uh, clearing screenshots there. No. No. It was like, yeah, no, fuck it. I failed. Sorry. But why the hell? Um, is it because it's in okay. slash SD card instead of storage emulated, whatever, whatever? So make does that make any difference? I, I wouldn't Possibly. expect like following the link. I wouldn't expect it to, but maybe you never know. Um, following the link path because that's Point. there. So let me let me try and do this. Synchronize. E Oh, okay. Something, no, there was an exception, some... Yeah, that, oh, this is fine. Yeah, what's this? Ah, okay, yeah, this is fine. Failed clearing screenshots there. Yeah, still fails. Failed. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. 
Can you do delete? Uh, it's a folder, Just so it's delete. not going to work. Oh, no, it does. Delete the file or no, directory? No, the directory must be empty. That's why it doesn't work. So we could okay. always do a path yeah. for each. I can enumerate and delete all of them. Yeah. Path, is it path.files. List files dot for each it dot delete. Uh, I guess what I can do is uh, none. And just do this. That should be the same thing. Uh, unsafe using a nullable receiver. Is this? Okay, sure. Uh, but I need to do then. Empty lit. No, it's empty array. Yes. Okay. Okay, that should work. And this is not necessary anymore. Okay, let's try and see. I'm technically deleting all the files by hand, which should work. Mm -hmm. Which delete recursively yeah, should do for you. Anything. Yeah, sure. How yeah. is this not working? <laughs> Is it still doing failed clearing? Uh, yes, yes, it is. So there's at least one Hi. that fails. Hey, uh, the tracks, you, you've missed us uh, not yeah. having shit that works for a change. So you kind of know what you've missed. <laughs> <laughs> but we are building a framework for screenshot yes, that testing works on Windows. Windows. Very important. Apparently, shot doesn't do that. So we have a market yeah. to exploit. And for once and, and for once the tracks, I'm not trolling several heavily for breaking stuff because I'm part of the yeah, problem. You seem to be quieter than usual, Mark, when your code is involved. <laughs> yeah, because he's very he's very careful here, right? Because uh, they got minefield. So that's but why this thing do we have anything on Google about Java not being able to delete files on Android because is the is it a thing? Why why shouldn't what? you be? Yeah, what's the null thing? Uh, the none doing? Uh, the none was checking if none of the entities in the list was uh, true. Uh, so that that should have worked, but wait. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> well, it didn't fail this time. No. Did it clear it out? <laughs> nope. Uh, okay. This is so weird. So indeed. Weird. Okay. So let me try. Let me try something. So I'm going to do files. And this is return because I have nothing to clear. Uh, and then I will do files dot, um, well, let's do it for each for now. Uh, I'm just going to be a barbarian and I'm going to do it delete. And this is actually, I want to put it in here. Absolute path. Okay. And this is it dot delete is false. Okay. So now I am doing the whole thing by hand and I should be printing any file that fails. Probably. So print all of them. It yeah. sounds like it's going to be all of them, but I don't understand why. didn't complain uh, but they're they're all still there but it also didn't print anything 
what the hell? But insufficient permissions. I mean, we are creating the file. How is not? Plus, there is read and write permission there. So we should be able to delete yep. the file that we created. Should I mean, what, what's the the point here? I mean, I can, I can, I can do. Plus, there are no except... check delete. But okay, maybe I should use. Java on uh, new I/O dot file dot files and do delete on that one. So let let's try that. So files dot delete and this is uh, path dot to path. And let's see how this goes. Uh, also, this should be it. So this should throw exceptions. I saw something. No, okay. Um, try refreshing. Nope. What the fuck? I mean, this is like, you know, at the edge of computer science. And plus, the, the number of screenshots keeps growing. <laughs> it's making me yep, anxious. Same here. Okay. Uh, Can we delete it in uh, Device File Explorer? That's a good question. Yes, we can. Can you check if the files are in the list? Um, let's, let's do that. Uh, okay. So let's do this creating screenshots there. Um, and I'll put the number of files there. And this is files dot, uh, size. Yeah, first to delete zero. So it maybe needs a trailing slash. Let's try, but it shouldn't need it. Like it can write them that just just fine. So that's why I'm confused. Um so it knows that the the file, the, the folder exists, right? Because otherwise it would say it doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, path, the path list files is. Yeah, and failing. I can try and debug, but it's not going to work because this is in the in the test app. It's yeah, the test app. So um, it's still going to fail, obviously. But why is it? Why is path? dot list files returning an empty list. If this abstract path name does not denote the directory, then this method returns null. Otherwise, an array of file objects is returned. So it's returning, but it's returning an empty array because it, it's yep. otherwise you wouldn't get yep. files yep. dot size as null. Um, is this getting confused by maybe the path is not what you think it is. Yeah, I was thinking the same, but, uh, but I'm printing it, right? I'm printing it here and yeah. it is correct. I believe. Um, Yeah, it doesn't look like this could return. I don't know. Maybe we can do something else, which is uh, files dot list and try and do it with the new APIs thing. Maybe that works. I don't know. Uh, what does this return? It's a stream. Of course, it's a fucking stream. Uh, to list. 
and this is already a path so i don't need to do that maybe you need request legacy external storage um but the, wouldn't okay. you need that for writing as well? I don't know. I'm, I seriously don't know how uh, our so, scope so. storage works. You should have <laughs> RX Java if it's a stream and RX Mint too. <laughs> uh, shameless plug, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Either that or Hugo is... Uh trying to replace me as <laughs> trolling chief yeah that's... so how does uh request legacy external storage how... work because i have no clue i've never used it um storage in updates in heaven so says. okay but okay let's try it's just yeah. in the application. I, I can do too. it in this okay. one. It will also uh, get was the... it in the application. Yeah, in application. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. If this works, I'll be annoyed. But this is super weird. Nope. Does not give a shit. <laughs> but this is. But this is super weird. I mean, why in the name of God? I have no clue. This is very fun. Like, the folder is there. It's is it? that. I'm sure it's that one. Right? Am I? Should I be? But you, you yep. copy-pasted it, right? It's there. Uh, any chance to, I don't know, I don't know get change? rid of the dash, get rid of the dash in the name of the folder. I don't know, something, sounds. It's whatever. Saying, it's saying owner package changed. Could this be because the owner of this is changing from the main app to the test app? I have no idea. But shouldn't they be... Shouldn't they have the According same uh, user ID if they have the same signature? Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, they, it's not, they are saying the same thing in the chat. According to Noga, it not the test app that is doing the deletion. Okay, so request legacy is not one. Let's use it. Man, this thing is super weird. So, is it a thing that I need the uh, application ID here? Maybe specify it. Yeah, maybe try. Yeah, maybe try Good specifying. application yeah. ID. Yeah. I don't think this actually changes anything, but at this point, whatever. Wow. I don't know, uh, man. This is... uh, yeah, you need to explicitly set the um, shared user ID. I mean, I would expect that the testing thing would do that, but after you target the 31 API, the app ignores request legacy external storage flag. Oh, are we targeting 31? Okay. Yes, we are. Oh, 30. No, we're so. not. No, okay. 30. So... Yes. No, no, 30. We should be good. So we are, we are good. Okay, let's try and run it once again and see how that goes. Ciao, Hugo. Bye. Have a nice evening. Wait. Saved? Nope, same. Fuck Fast me. delete. Zero. Uh... Reason. Owner package changed. Owner package changed. I don't, I don't know. Could, could it be something to do with the fact that we're doing it in a class of a before block or something uh you mean here so in we're doing a before class there i mean we can do before instead of before class and see if it changes anything but i don't yeah think but we get the print so, because so like I don't know. this is files to delete zero when but, uh, it's that i mean there's a few
but I should see double the amount of things here, but it doesn't seem to be doing any. Still files to, to delete. Is this now not being called because yeah, it's a static so. uh, yeah. a companion it object? Here. And that's going to run it before each oh, test sorry, now, I think. Oh, sorry, for some it? reason I thought it was Android 31. So Android 10, uh, sorry, Android 11 uh, is already ignoring the request, blah, blah, blah. That's what they're saying in the chat, which, oh, files to delete hmm. one. Okay. Sorry, what? Okay. Uh, I, I, I guess. Which one? They didn't say. Can you try to remove the folder? I will try to remove the folder, yes. Because, I mean, for some reason, they went through one iteration, right? I don't know why, just one. Can I do this? Will this work? Delete a file. Uh, may not. If file is a directory, it must be empty. So is there a delete have recursively? A, yeah, do you have a delete or something? What, something? Or can be used Well, with okay, I want to see method. if it fucking fails with directory not empty. Right? It should. It, it should at least okay, go Okay, go up. for it. I would first list a file that okay, wants to be we have filing. which one it is. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, but yeah, it is Okay, failing. wait, wait, wait. That's fine. Okay. So it's failing because directory is not empty. Okay. Jesus. Do you have a delete recursive on probably, this thing? Probably, but let's see. Delete existing? Mm. No, it still wants an empty one. Uh No, but the, the one that it exists. No, it still wants the empty thing thing. But I don't understand how it's even so hard to delete a bloody directory. Okay, let's try and do it the way they say. Yeah, but was it red or something? What's going on there? What would they need? What? What do they need? Why doesn't it like it? It's file visitor. I need to. Ugh, que palle. Like like animals. I don't even know what it wants. Uh, what do you want from me? Revisit visit. What is this? No, this is madness. I mean, can Fuck you, can, yeah, can you just do files? Yeah. You had a version with f deletes. I mean, okay, let's, let's do what the Trux is suggesting. List the files, yeah, but for fuck's sake. It's not going to change the fact it's not deleting. No, I just want to see if they can at least uh, enumerate them. Path? Like Path string. I don't know. Even even file name. File name is okay. I mean, whatever it is. I mean, this was supposed to be a... Oh, let's test the UI. Oh, we're testing I love this. Something. Uh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But nerds, right? Okay. Wait. Director is not empty. So yeah, screenshot clearing, it's this one, which I think is the one that it had just saved. Yeah, so it sees the one that it saved in the previous test and it's trying to delete that, but it doesn't see everything else. Is it because the ownership of those files is being changed? Yeah, it's different. Because there, there is this... Um, but this is a different Wait, one. I don't know. Just humor me. Can can you yeah. can you empty the I mean, directory? I know how to fix it, but I won't be happy. Run it once and see <laughs> if it stays empty. No, I want I want 
I want to see if you if you delete everything and you run it clean, does it stay no, clean? No, won't. Shouldn't be removing the, the file that just created. It does not. It does not. Fuck and me. I tell you, I know how to fix this. It's not ideal. But it's okay. I think it's Go okay for, it. for today. Why are you gonna? What are you gonna do? Are, are you gonna no. change the ownership of the file? I'm gonna do this. That's gonna fix After. it. After okay, because it deletes the file that it just created. Yeah, but then you can't copy across your golden image. I'm not saying it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it fixes it. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, this is the is one it? left over from earlier. Oh. If I run it again, it won't let it won't leave anything behind. But it's not. It's also not the fine. file that we need. Like, you it's, mean? It's still like see, it's empty. Uh, that's. Yeah, it's empty. Ooh, nice. <laughs> we can delete a file that we need. But for once, it's not Android yeah, Studio right. deleting files that we need. Um. But this is so weird. I mean, it, it definitely feels like it's an ownership problem of some sort. It is definitely an ownership problem. But I don't understand. Yeah, I think it's as the control switches between the yeah. test app and the main app, it's switching ownership of this directory. Yeah. And therefore, we no longer have the ability to delete it because it's changing the yeah. Because the, user. the screenshot, I think is taken is saved from uh in here but this one is running the test app isn't it yeah but can you so when you create the yeah. file where do you create the file okay can you change the permission of the file that you just created um it's on Can the you like it's on the see, SD card, mod. so you should assume that the file system doesn't know about users. But but then why? Fuck, I love. <laughs> yeah, also, please fix it. Yeah, but set set writable. But it is owner. Yeah, only but this falls. stuff. Um... I'm not entirely sure that this actually does anything anymore. I mean, we can try, but try to write writable, writable, and I want writable through owner only folds. So the owner's write permission for this and vocation that writable behaves in the same way as no. writable arc true. No, 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 I want false. I mean, you can write it and everybody can write it. Everybody can write it. No, yes. it's, uh, it's time to go home. Um, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's time to go to feed my, my baby. Uh... Or walk the dog, actually. I mean, walk the dog. Yeah, I don't think he also... <laughs> I don't think he wants to be walked. At the moment. It's too busy not doing anything. But oh, Jesus is so. No, 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 it's just woke up. Should I just do this? Uh, what is. Uh, what are you do doing? This. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to set the permissions. Like I've set it to others, right? Right permission. Okay. Well, yo, I, mean, I like the others. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So that's the post yeah, file. Okay, that's the I, Unix one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, other rights should be okay. Because this wants a POSIX file permission. Does this mean that this, the others can write it or does it need anything else? I'm not sure. Um, sets the POSIX okay. file permission for the right, but let's try. All sure. oh, right, okay. I need to. Yeah. Uh, did you change the before. after? Before class. Does it need to be JVM before. static, Mark? 
Uh, I think before static maybe does uh, before class, but you could just do a before for now. Yeah, I just wanted to. I just wanted to make sure well, that it would do. Well. Okay, let's see. Let's see now if it has left some files there. It is not leaving files there. Does it mean it works? Or does it mean it explodes? Access denied exception. Access Set denied. Permissions. I cannot okay. do that. Because you don't have right permission. I just. Created oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I mean, no, you no, just no, no, create no. the file. Do, I need to do it on the file, not on the folder. So. Okay. Okay. Oh, but that's not the folder. That's the file. Wait, where are you? Oh, no. Yeah. Pat. So yeah, but that's this the file. is files dot get is it get? I don't ever remember. Files dot files get owner. Can I do set owner? I can do set owner. Yeah. But yeah, but it looks like the owner's mm -hmm. being changed once the yeah. Uh, control is passing. Mm. So just doing that, I think you're already the owner at this point. It's being changed mm. after we lose control. Yes. So this is path dot path string. Uh, no, this is absolute path. Okay. And okay so that's the file okay let's see if this works probably doesn't but worth trying question mark um no access denied exception so it's 71 Wait. it's another it's another yeah, this looks another weird four. Yeah, I did. You, but did you run it? I might need to do a clean. I don't know. It might have gotten stuck. 71. I mean, the line is wrong. So let me do print line. That permissions. Let's see if that actually does anything. If it prints anything. Yeah, it does. Mm. Not printing no. anything. Okay. Yeah, we, we are targeting 30, 30, 30. or 31. I can't remember. 30. Yeah. Oh shit, this thing's so weird. Okay. Okay, so let me let me try and delete it entirely. And let's see if we okay. can recreate it. And I want to see synchronize. Yeah, there's nothing there now. Yeah, but so we're crashing before we yeah. actually do the save. Looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's crashing on the set POSIX file permission, I think. Yeah, so we're not actually. Does the file not exist not even, at that point? Uh, right. Yeah, yeah it's I need not to, even creating I, the file yet. You need. Yeah. Can I you do, do it, it there. later? Uh, let me do it here. I want to know. Still doesn't create yeah, the folder. Uh, what the fuck? Where are we? Why doesn't it? We're not even logging. Just broke even the logs. Okay. No. What the fuck? No. Here? No. Ciao. Did we <laughs> the entirely the whole thing? <laughs> I think we might have totaled something. Um, just thinking, oh, like that. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. <laughs> so instead, instead, okay, what I this what or I comment this, comment this. No, I don't just, want to do I that. Don't... What I want to do is to do get 
Can I do get owner? Yes. I want to see who's the owner. Uh, also, I have no idea what link option. No follow Thank links. You. Yeah, whatever. Don't care. Um, and this is screenshot owner is this thing. Uh, what does this return? It returns a user principle. Uh, do I want a name? Yeah, I want a name. Okay. And now what I also want to do is something stupid. Like in here, when I try to delete something, I want to try and create something first, see which owner it gets and print that and see if they're the same. Because mm -hmm. that would mm -hmm. confirm at least the problem with the permissions. Yeah, why not just check the the part uh, the directory yeah, owner sure. at this point? I can also do that. Um, where did I do that here? So I will also do this screenshots folder owner, and this would be path dot to path. Okay, maybe it's a bit clearer. Okay. Uh, okay, I can try and run that, but I, I just want to create the file here first. So, uh, well, can I? Um, how do I? I don't know. I never remember how to create. A, a writer thing but I can do path so I want to create a file in the path folder and I will call it culo because why not and then I will have write text aha that's what I wanted to do write text okay does this close the Stream, yes. Okay, good. I want to see if that writes it, and then I want to check who's the owner of Kulo. <laughs> Sorry, it's too funny. Uh God. I think we are hitting the scope storage Yeah, issue. most likely. Bum, sounds bum, sounds bum. like something that would be scope storage problems. Most likely, yes. Uh, use the media access API to write the file or change additional test output dear instrumentation art. Oh, okay. So number two seems to be the easiest one and number one seems to be the right one to do. I don't know, let's, let's see. I just want to see uh, owner. But the fact that we're, we're just doing an explicit location here changing the additional test output there isn't going to make a blind bit of difference because we're writing to yeah. a, a, a fixed location so why if we go back to trying to get the uh, location yeah, for but the I, I think there's something fucky going work, on but... here because uh, there's no filters and it does not show owner which is weird that doesn't look as though that's yeah. building cleanly give it are you ready to wait 15 minutes i think in the meantime we can we can look at the <laughs> oh, come on this is uh media access api so yep. let's see thank you very much by the way uh ciao to zhang for the input because I've never used scope storage, so. Uh, so, so media content, standard public directories. So the user has common location, blah, blah, blah. You have can access this content using the platform media store API, uh, which I think was what they were suggesting. I have another suggestion. Why not try an earlier API emulator? Yeah, 
mm. we can also do that. Uh, although I think I only have 30, which also, is not going to change much. Clever. So I need to install clever a clever new man. SDK thing. Uh, hey, oi, oi. All oh, right, device. I forgot it doesn't Create a device. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> Next, uh, should I use Q or Pi? Why not? Yeah, Android. Pi, Pi, go Pi, go Pi. Okay. Well, that does the things. Let's see. Um. So, media store. Images, but we are, but that's media store because we are using yeah. pictures folder. I mean, in this case, we are using that. So if we use another folder, I, I think it does matter. Oh no, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, media content get bitmap. Uh, Loading of images should be performed through image decoder. Fuck you. Um, query. Yeah, there's no delete <laughs> here anyway, so we would be kind of fucked in any case, I think. So, okay, let's let's try and do media content here. Access media files from shared storage. Uh, okay. Oh no. Oh no, I need to use a fucking content resolver. Oh. <laughs> so so we're finishing it at midnight tonight, are we? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> at some point, at some point, it's just gonna. I'm, you know, I'm, it may, it may happen that I'm gonna just uh, have a power out outage, uh, like. <laughs> It's sudden it's gonna oh even it's, it's gone no, what happened no probably some power ah. issue. how do you do this add the following flag to option the number two harness that invokes am instrument uh, this is very helpful oh, documentation yeah. thank you very much Jesus. what is what so, <laughs> so we've We've got to yeah. hack the Gradle plugin now. <laughs> so you need to do an extra, pass an extra to the instrument. How do you do that? Okay, let let's try the good old way. I don't know. Uh, No, no. Uh, I mean, how is just just type just type the no. Uh, this is great. No, can you? Oh my god, this is so weird. How? Wait, oh, shit. That's the source code. I mean, how is possible nobody's using it on the... <laughs> it's not like nowhere, like four results on, on for Google search for something. Uh, set disable isolated storage. Okay. okay. What is this? Uh, device test run options. Is this in the test framework? Yeah, true story. I mean, this stuff is weird. Okay. This, you know I mean? uh, this is done. Uh, we we have a new emulator. We have a new emulator. So try, let's try to run it on an old emulator. <laughs> I wanted to call it uh, Obi One, but it would have been too obscure, I guess. Um, uh, one uh, second, though. I just wanted to do this um isn't there anything no oh damn 
I don't know. What is this thing? Where do, how do I access this bullshit? Uh, base host JUnit for test. I don't know. Test type JUnit. But where is it? I mean, uh, where is, what's what's do we we probably no longer need to override uh, shot test, do we? But I think that subclass is uh, JUnit yeah, for I test. Just wanted to check. Wait, 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 wait. There was there was something. How to it's delete stores dots. in isolated this no Microsoft dots. I don't think <laughs> that is what Sorry. you're looking for. No. No. Isolated storage in C sharp. Uh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, that, that's great. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there a way to turn yeah. off? How can you search something? How can you search something on Google and the only results are source code or the thing that you want to use? How is okay, it impossible? So, okay. There is a ABD. On uh, my ADB. Yeah, the use the very useful. Oh, fuck you. ADB. It's not what I wanted. Did I not copy it? Am I that stupid? I am that stupid. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't think it likes it. Go for it. What was it? Wait. But it, SM, wasn't it what, AM? No, because it's storage uh, manager. Uh, I think uh, this doesn't exist and anymore. What, what have you That's passed? The problem. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. There is set, set. Uh, come on. There are set. Set force adaptable, no, set virtual disk. No, I'm sorry. Come on, set something. <laughs> Forget. Set. No, we're, come we're on, come on. Set emulate. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this was no, three come on. years run, ago. Run it I'm, on I'm an sure emulator like 20. That it, it had disappeared in the meantime. The disable is less. Yeah, Can but you I want to Google this emulator. thing. Like, it's Just impossible that this doesn't mail. exist, right? And yet. And yet, this is so weird. This is so weird. I don't. I hate it. Look at this thing. I mean, how can you get two results, and they are basically the source code or the the okay. thing that you want to use? Okay. How okay. is it even possible that we are the only one in the, the world that wants to do this? is doing an instrumentation test, right? And it's calling that thing, yeah. right? Scope yes. storage host test extends base host JUnit for test. Sure. And it does this. <laughs> yeah, like, like what if we know what we are doing, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, look at the hard coded shit. I mean, can how can you work with that? I mean, it's executing that's... shell commands. Yeah, it's basically like <laughs> that's a testament to, to the, the oh brittleness of the whole thing, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I think there is a there is a um, some mentioning about the House of Card in the book that I'm reading about Android system. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, did I not run this? Maybe I didn't. After doing the clean, but it wasn't it. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about the twelve people that join us to to see some. I'm sorry, there and I mean, there was none. <laughs> okay. Uh, you mean so the twelve, the 12 yes. t people? <laughs> yeah, twelve, <laughs> twelve t people. Okay, uh, Obi One. Oh my god, this is so weird. You are, you are our only hope. So. This is it, right? Dude, this is, at this point, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know never. anymore. What the fuck? I don't. So I, I give us. It. I mean, why? I this is why we can't minutes, have enough. After which, nice thing. I'm calling it the day. <laughs> uh, pulling the plug. Yeah, no, I'm pulling like, the plug. There's, there's a limit to the amount of time you can waste on something like this. Oh, that's good. Permission. That is good. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, does can I open SD card? Yes, I. Uh, fuck you. 
So pictures is empty. Fine. Let's run it and see how it goes. Run it. Um, okay. Yep. Change the emulator. I like it. Go for it. Doesn't it. say anything about it. owners. Probably. Oh, there, there is. There is something in the chat, by the way. Did we switch the test runner back? Maybe that's causing us some okay, problems. I'm going to try what they suggested. Uh, just in case, but... Um... But that might not work with the, the uh, short uh, test uh, runner, uh, which we uh, added uh, earlier. Oh, yeah. No, it's failing for a different reason. It's It's fine. Uh, this just needs to go back in here and do this. Let's see if it fails now, because it didn't run the test because it failed before. Uh, that explains why it wasn't creating. But I don't things. think we are using it was failing, the shot. But we weren't looking at the failure. Um, okay, clearing, clearing. Uh, Do we need to check whether the test actually failed for the expected reason before we? Uh, no such file exception. No such file yes. exception. Oh, yeah, because we have storage emulated. You need to switch to SD card. And I also want to check with Mark said about the test runner. No, Are we still no. using the shot one? Yeah, no, we because have, we removed uh, the library, shot right? At all anymore. Uh, yeah, I okay, think we, it's it's still no failing. Such file directory. Uh, because uh, yeah, this is not particularly helpful to saying where, but I think it's in the clear thing, is it? Can you just show the okay. errors? Okay. No such file exception. Save screenshot. Fail. Path so, to path. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's remove. Try again. I think we can remove this. I also want to try what they are Which suggesting is... in the chat. Oh, this stuff is so weird. Uh, adding the parameter to the instrumentation yes, runner. Yes, 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 yes. I want to get there as well. Okay, so it's failing because file not found exception. No such file or directory. Okay, check log cut. Is it because check log cut? Uh, is it because setting yeah, screenshots so doesn't think, exist? Why Do need uh, to it create was creating that? it though? Why is it not anymore? There is MK Deers, right? Yeah. Maybe that's Maybe. failing. <laughs> uh, yes. Seems appropriate. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, 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 fuck I mean, my life. Approaching the same yeah. state fuck my of... life. It doesn't want yeah. to create that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? So now, no, come on, let's run. Let's to, run to go back to yeah, uh, actually obtaining the external yeah. storage directory. You know, maybe that's why, because we're trying to you know, just hack stuff. No, no, I'm, I'm with Chao. Yeah, I mean, uh, let's that's try still, to like, getting the external the... directory the right way is still a good idea. It's 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 still uh, a good how idea. It? Okay, let's do it. But do we need do we need to do this from the instrumentation yeah. test runner because uh, we're running in an so instrumentation files test? There? Is this the right one? Ye no.
Yeah, where the application can can store persistent files, they they yeah, own. But what if I don't want to own them? So this one is deprecated. Uh, get external files dear string media store. Well, I mean, the fact that it's deprecated doesn't mean it doesn't work. I think mm -hmm. we. I still think we need to use the instrumentation yeah, registry here. Yeah, but you, you here. get the context from the instrumentation registry. So this would be something like get in. Uh, is it instrument? What, ah, I don't remember how we did that um, before. Uh, it's instrumentation registry dot. Aha. Uh -huh. Get instrumentation. Get instrumentation. Uh, target. Context. Dot target. Context. And then you can do context. Dot. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, all right. Uh, Uh, oh, yeah. Pictures. Yay. <laughs> and then we'll, if this doesn't work still, it failed for a different reason. No static field yeah. would be lossless. <laughs> oh. It's because uh, so, lossless web bees weren't available before API 30. Uh, yeah. I guess we can just use a PNG. Really? And it's going to yep. still yeah. have the web bee extension because I'm lazy. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's probably going to complain somewhere else that it cannot load them. Yeah. Probably because it's trying to load them so we're, as it, a different format. So web p web p web p. No, this that should be fine. Um, but the fact that it's comparing them is good. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, is trying to compare them and then failing because they don't they have different sizes, which is what we would expect. Because we never okay. pulled the other one. Right, 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 right. Uh, yeah. it's funny to notice that synchronize doesn't seem to work, but but where did it where did it store it? I don't know. <sighs> Let's find out. Um SD card and data. Mm. Mm -mm. No, it's empty. <laughs> no items. Uh, I, images? Oh, no. Download? No. SD card. You're, you're fairly useless, my dear friend. Is it because we, it's downloading? Uh, it's downloading. It's deleting them? But it's yeah, before we... class, so it shouldn't. But in any case, I mean... Shouldn't be deleting them, right? Uh, I was fading. So what's the exceptions? No golden image. That's fine. Uh, sizes match, but content but size match. Content has differences. Yeah. Okay. So you shouldn't have deleted those, right? Uh, no. The tracks are saying JPEG for the win. I I wouldn't do screenshot testing with JPEGs. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Unless you want to compare the semi non deterministic uh, compression artifacts that you would get, which I don't recommend. Okay, so this is not really doing much. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's finished. finished. That's good. What? No. Okay. Let's redo this. Uh, 
pictures no and do data yeah it doesn't see it what the no. fuck like it you know it's here files pictures blah blah and it's it's not yeah, the owner yeah is but different. this is android studio this is adb it should fucking know what is there and if i go storage emulated nope fuck you yeah no I think that's why it's, we don't have the permission on the emulator to actually view the storage for okay. some reason. So let that's me try why you're not thing, seeing them. Which is, that's I, the, I, I want, want to, to do what did, they did were we... suggesting in the chat. Yeah, no, I want to punch the thing in the face. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> no, because now I'm, I mean, it's getting ridiculous because the the system is working against us. Mm, what type is this? It's How do a you mutable do this map. Now? Okay. It's a, it's a key value. So, yeah. Is it like a two? It's a map, right? It's a map. It's a map. YOLO? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? I was like, okay, maybe it's a long. Oh, uh, it's it a looks like string. it's going to be a parameter, so probably. Yeah, yeah, see, see, see. Fair enough. Yeah, that's correct. That's that's correct. Let's see yeah, if it actually super. does anything. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but I will run the uh, API 31 emulator again and see if that fixes it. Mm -hmm. And by fixes it, I'd at least go 30 rather than if 31. It's broken on 30, it's broken on 31 and the other way around. Because I don't think there's been changes in 31 for scope storage. I think. I don't know. Man, this thing, this, this service of this brutal. I mean, if we figure this out, this is good. Good shit. Because it doesn't seem like the yeah. internet knows That's about good. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, we are about to figure out somebody that nobody needs. I mean, wow. Okay. Mm. Let's try and run this. I want to see Ooh. if it passes it, but I would expect it does. Uh, but also you don't see shit. Yeah. It, well, it something happened. Something. It didn't explode. Um, wait, so wait. One passed. Wait. One passed. No, no golden image. image. One passed. One passed. Uh, yes. The other one uh, didn't because we don't have a good <laughs> image, but that's fine because I think we can fetch it. Okay, so that's a, that's that's expected. Jesus God! I mean, we come on, refresh no. this shit. No, uh, well, no, I mean, you changed the director, yeah, yeah, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, you changed the director. Android data, uh, yeah. Okay. Still not there. Lol. But what is it? Do you need to refresh no, no. that? No. Uh, yeah, nice try, Mark. <laughs> uh, no, wait. Wrong, wrong place. Uh, SD card, Android data, no. Storage no. emulated. Uh, storage no nah. no data no data sorry Fuck me no, no, data. Data. no data no data no available. data senor. no data ah, i uh, hate it i mean that's Come the on, path I mean, but but now the we can do the hard coded exist but we can do the okay. hard coded yeah. one i mean let's let's drop the get external bullshit because if we are passing the the value and is actually working you can do the SD card slash hard coded savage thing that we were doing. And don't call it picture, call it fuck me. Don't <laughs> call it something uh, do you, else. Do you, because I don't do want you hate to pictures. Call... It's there. Look. Okay, this is working. Fuck it. Um so if I run it again. Okay, Will it so... spam again? Yeah, it doesn't delete them. Yeah. 
Why? Okay. Okay, but now we also have the golden the golden. Yes, but picture, it's still not right? deleting them. We're back to square one. No, 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 no. But we you, you commanded oh, yeah, out the deletion. Ha. Ah. Ah, wait for it. Wait for it. Past we are almost there. Smart. Nope. Come on, come on. <laughs> For fuck's sake, I hate shit. Oh, I mean, this is so bad. Uh, Clearing, fast delete, zero. Zero. Oh, okay, shit. okay, oh, okay. Is... okay. Oh, Listen. Damn it. Uh, okay, let, let's try to do something else. Uh, yeah, oh, also, also, they also put a link in the chat. Can you go uh, to the link? Sure. This one? Yes. Uh, yes. Can you search for the no isolated storage? Yeah, there's nothing. Thing. What the fuck? Okay, so have you put it uh, in the right I place? Think so. I, yeah, I got I, I... Uh, yeah, it's in default config. I mean, so it's, it's not Ruby, map it's Kotlin, so it wouldn't compile to, to... if it were in the wrong place. Yeah, so, yeah, it wouldn't compile. Um, oh, fuck me. But could it, but no, it would probably crash. Um, just wondering if you explicitly it's, need a map thing is, there rather than a the plus my life point where it's trying to create. Yeah. The folder the that folder. does not exist. Yeah, because the owner of the path is changing, and so we're no longer the owner of those files. That's what's appearing yeah. in Logcat, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this so much. I mean, it doesn't. It's not doing yeah. anything because it doesn't have the ability to create that folder. And uh, yeah, but but when the folder exists, it's creating the file, but it can't no, remove. I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I I can try to change the way the test instrumentation run arguments thing is set up uh, because I've done this instead. I don't think it makes any actual difference, but I I don't even. So yeah, yeah, no, this doesn't work. Yeah, but if I like, if it's running ADB shell, I would expect it to be somewhere, right? AM instrument. Nope, nothing. Nope. Oh well. Uh, I can also. Can you run it on console? Here, yeah. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> oh, we, we tried. We, we, we tried with changing the permission. It failed. Permission. Uh, this one is ignored, so we might as well not have it. Um, yeah, I think well, we need we need some help with this because I have no idea what's going on. Because ask for permission in app. Oh, in app, how will you do it? Ah, like in like. But how? But can you do it for an instrumentation <clears throat> test? Yeah, but we, we already uh, requested right external storage yeah. in the manifest, and we shouldn't need to request that I as a know. runtime permission. I don't, I don't think. know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let let's for now 
revert to this because at least this did write shit. So that's a mm. step forward, I guess. Um, the problem with that was that it wasn't really uh, updating things, and we still. No, it's in the picture. It's yeah, it's picture writing things folder. in the it should be. in this folder, oh, but yeah. we cannot see it. Yeah, so, so you so can we, see. So we have to write external storage permission, otherwise yeah. we wouldn't be able to write those images. Um, the issue is, as control is passing from the test app back to the main app, the external storage folder ownership is changing from the owner of the test app to the owner of the so maybe we do need to do what hugo said earlier uh and maybe have a shared user yeah but even then like even adb doesn't know about that file okay so can you run the if i cannot get it from adb i don't know how to get it honestly can you run the the thing that yeah sure the trucks is suggesting and we are we are we are uh, we missed the deadline so we need to get another deadline yep. <laughs> so i miss my family uh okay if this doesn't work we're done and we'll try to figure it out uh when we're back in uh two weeks yeah, we need we need Jose for this. No UID. No UID. Is it the test one? Nope. Okay. No I don't UID know if it's something fucky. I have no idea. I give up. Sorry, but I'm done for today. I don't know about you guys, but I'm done. Today yeah today was a today sad day was a sad day no more code sorry people but technically yeah. we got the screenshot testing working in the end but just not the cleaning uh the housekeeping part yeah so it's a half win <laughs> okay um on this sad note <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the morale is yeah, low. Yeah, the morale is low, but um, we'll make the best out of this and we will start annoying people until someone tells yes. us how to make this work because I honestly have no idea. How <laughs> yes. does it work for the uh, um, sample app? Like, why does it work for them? I don't know. That's a mystery. Uh, maybe because they don't delete yeah. things. They just YOLO it, which... Seems that it might, might like it might work. Also, also uh, in any case, uh, thanks everyone uh, that have been with us today. Uh, we will get to the bottom of this. Yeah, For we will three get hours. to the bottom of this, but not today because everyone hours. here has a life to go back to <laughs> at some point. <laughs> yes. So, uh, well, Ivan, uh, do the outro. I'll, I'll leave it to you. Yes. Um, so thank you everybody for sticking with us. I mean, we have been like running this thing for three hours and we have 12 people on the stream still surviving. And um, we we love this. We love the support. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations again for the um, for Dark Kali, for the, the Stiggers. Uh, remember to um, you, you can still comment on the old video. I'm going to just put a link in the description because we are still running the IntelliJ giveaway from the previous uh, previous weeks. Um, we are going to get back to it when Sebastiano comes back from London. On that note, if you are if you want a, a DroidCon London ticket, we still have one. So. If you can go to the UK or you're on London and you want to go to DroidCon, just let us know. Um, uh, what else? Um, Sebastiano is going to be at DroidCon, so just yeah, grab him and you can get 
some fancy stickers. Um, I, I, and I what else? All. Thank you again. Thank you, Mark, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> for, yeah. for being with us. Uh, sorry to put the sign on the wall behind you to good use today. <laughs> but Yeah, I have just commented <laughs> in the, the chat about that. Great minds, <laughs> great minds. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we'll, as a reminder, we'll be off for a week. So Wednesday and next Sunday, we're off. We'll be back on Wednesday, the 3rd of November with our design series. I think it's going to be about color. Uh, I need to confirm that next week, but most likely it yes. should be about color. So um, thank you very much, everyone. Have a great, great evening, day. I don't know, depending what time you are. Or if you're watching the VOD, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a good one. Ciao. Bye. Ciao, ciao.